Chapter 90 Heaven Piercing Medical Prowess You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 90 Heaven Piercing Medical Prowess Xiao Tianan walked toward Yun Che, cusped both of his fists, and spoke in an extreme respectful manner. Senior Huang Fu, please be sure to save my son. This junior only has this one son, as long as senior is willing to save him, this junior will definitely repay this debt, even if I have to become a horse or an ox. As the sect master of New Moon City's greatest sect, it could be said that he was beneath none and above all in New Moon City. Yet he was extremely respectful to this genius doctor, even to the point of saying these kind of words like, become a horse or an ox. It was clear that Xiao Luoqing's matter indeed made him anxious to the extreme, but at the same time, he was indeed intimidated by the title, eccentric god hand. Gong Sun Xiao hastily put up a smiling face and said, Please be at ease, sect master Xiao. With senior Huang Fu here, your dear son's injury will certainly be completely healed. I really need to congratulate sect master Xiao. Since senior Huang Fu has already arrived here, he'll certainly exhibit his god hand. Not only would young sect master Zhao's injuries be fully healed, he may even also be able to forge ties with senior Huang Fu, this is a fortune that others could not obtain even if they begged for it. They originally were admonished by Xiao Tianan, as if dog blood had been poured onto their heads, since they did not have any method to treat Xiao Luoqing's grave injury. And now, this eccentric god hand had fallen from the sky. While they were utterly excited, they also secretly breathed a sigh of relief. With the existence of this medical saint here, there definitely won't be any issues with Xiao Luoqing's injury, Xiao sect would also no longer vent their anger on them. To be referred to as senior by this Xiao Tianan with such extreme respect, the inside of Yun Che's heart was naturally pleased to the max. He made a faint smile that was plain, yet also otherworldly. Since I've already come, I would heal him even if you didn't say anything. Even though your sect is quite small, it's still built on a mountain. Climbing up here is not easy either, how can I just come for nothing? Come, let me take a look at this little fella's injuries. New Moon City's largest sect that occupied this entire mountain, actually turned into a quite small sect in his mouth. However, no one present felt that it was funny or inappropriate. What a joke, who was he? He was the eccentric god hand from the Divine Phoenix Empire. The sex that someone like this had seen before would certainly be top-notch even inside the Divine Phoenix Empire. Comparing Xiao sex branch sect to those sects he visited in his travels, it's probably even less than a fart, to call this Xiao sex branch sect a small sect was already gracious. But his reason for deciding to heal him, was unexpectedly because he didn't want to climb a mountain for nothing, this also caused everyone to be taken aback. But thinking back at his title, eccentric god hand, they then thought that it was reasonable inside their heart, if his personality wasn't eccentric, how could he be called the eccentric god hand? Xiao Tianan was overjoyed. He firmly remembered what Xiao Bai Chao had told him and his expression changed into one with extreme sincerity and respect. Then many thanks to Senior Huang Fu. My son's state of injuries is tied to this insignificant sex future, please be sure to exhibit the brandishing of Senior's god hand and restore my son's meridians and profound veins. Our sect will be endlessly grateful from top to bottom. Ah, if Senior have any orders or needs, please do tell without reservation. Yun Che didn't say anything as he very ungracefully threw the flag and medicine case onto the ground. He then stroked his beard and leisurely walked in front of Xiao Luoqing's bed. HM, isn't this title of eccentric god hand pretty good? It just so happens that he didn't need to constrain himself when doing things, since he is eccentric, after all. As the doctors saw this genius doctor walk toward Xiao Luoqing, they scrambled toward him one after another. If they could see a genius doctor of this level at work, even a single glance would definitely prove to be eternally beneficial. But Xian Tianan lowly coughed and threw at them a solemn glance. The heart of the doctors simultaneously tightened, they could only unwillingly walk out of the medicinal hall with their heads lowered. Zaiha, go warn these doctors, none of them are allowed to spread word that this senior is Huang Fuhi. 
if even the tiniest bit of rumor leaked out, my Shao sect would definitely not easily forgive them. Shao Tianan said with a dreary voice. If this information really got out, it will certainly instigate a huge uproar. It would be natural that countless people would come here to get diagnosed and perhaps, even those super sects would be attracted here. I understand. Xiao Zaiha withdrew with quick steps. There were two people left in the room, Xiao Tianan and Yun Che. Xiao Tianan treaded lightly and carefully walked toward him. He found that genius doctor was currently holding Xiao Luoqing's wrist with his eyes closed, without any movements at all. He forced himself to be patient and waited for a long time, but finally couldn't hold back and spoke. Senior, about my son's injuries. Yun Che opened his eyes and removed his hand from Xiao Luoqing's body. He stroked his beard and said, The broken arm doesn't matter much, and the injuries meridians and profound vein are also only small matters. But for the profound strength, he'll have to start over and cultivate it from the very beginning. Injuries this severe was unexpectedly only considered small matters from this genius doctor mouth. Even though Xiao Bai Chao had told him earlier that these kind of injuries could only be seen as a light injury in the eyes of genius doctors at this level, Xiao Tianan's heart still cramped for a while. He thought in his heart, as expected of a genius doctor that was considered top dot notch even in the Divine Phoenix Empire, his realm was entirely not something that ordinary people could possibly imagine. Go, and find a few people that understand herbal medicine and help me fetch a few types of medicinal herbs. Yun Che swung his hand with the posture of an expert. Certainly. Our sect already possesses a medicinal garden. Moreover we also have a heritage of a thousand years, and hundreds of years of accumulated stock. Unless it's something too precious, it's possible to find everything in our sect. Not long after, Xiao Tianan brought six people with him and rushed back. Yun Che stroked his beard and said with leisure. A piece of warm net jade that's at least 250 grams, with purity over 8 and half out of 10, three petals of purple heart lotus, one stalk of dragon's blood ginger that's over 20 years in age, 50 drops of morning dew, 10 stalks of phoenix liver grass, one and half kilos of mud from deep water. Altogether, Yun Che named over a dozen materials in a row, and then warned with a serious tone. All of these materials are indispensable. The amount can only be more and not less, and the age can only be higher yet not lower. Bring them to me within an hour. Oh, and also, fetch me a box of silver needles. Xiao Tianan secretly sighed a breath of relief, although he had asked for many things, they were all not very rare and the sect had large amounts of them in stock. With a wave of his hand, he made the people he brought to go fetch with top speed. In less than half an hour, all the items that Yun Che requested were brought together. He stood up and said. I'm borrowing your medicinal pellet furnace. Furthermore, I do not like to be disturbed when refining medicine. All of you, the further away you are, the better. Yes yes, this junior will definitely remember senior's words. Xiao Tianan hastily nodded. His respectful mannerism made those disciples that came to deliver medicinal materials dumbfoundedly stare. After Yun Che had gone into the medicinal pellet room, Xiao Tianan made over a dozen disciples stand guard thirty steps away, as to prevent anyone from going near. As he went in, he didn't come out even after four hours. And at this time, Xiao Bai Chao came back. How was it? Did you acquire any reliable information? Xiao Tianan asked. Xiao Bai Chao nodded and said with a lowered voice. Black Moon Merchant Guild used the 10,000-mile sound transmission talisman to contact the main guild within Divine Phoenix Empire and received news that the eccentric god hand had already disappeared a year ago from the Divine Phoenix area, and no one had spotted him for an entire year. It was said that he could be traveling and visiting the other countries. It can't be wrong. This person, is undoubtedly Huang Fu He. Phew, that's great, that's truly great. Xiao Tianan let out a long breath of relief and then cautiously asked. You didn't let Black Moon Merchant Guild notice anything, did you? 
Xiao Baichao spoke. Sect master can be at ease, they definitely did not. I used the young sect master's injuries as the reason to seek the famous medical Saint Huang Fu He, and went to buy the information. Right now, everyone inside New Moon City knows about young sect master's injuries so Black Moon Merchant Guild wouldn't be suspicious at all. They also definitely wouldn't expect that Huang Fu He actually came to New Moon City. How is young sect master's injuries now? Has Huang Fu He already begun to save him? Before Xiao Tiannan even answered, the medicinal hall's door was already pushed open as Yun Che walked out with slow steps. The two frantically went up and greeted him. With a face full of hope, Xiao Tiannan said. Senior, about my son's injuries. He'll wake up in half a cup of tea's time, go ask him yourself. I'll need to rest for a bit, arrange me a room that's quiet enough. In addition, get someone to prepare a pot of heart-refreshing tea, and bring it to me along with a meal. When I'm in my room, without my instructions, no one is allowed to arbitrarily disturb me. Oh, also, this little fella's body is currently too weak. Without my instructions, don't give him anything to eat. Keep that in mind. Both Xiao Tiannan and Xiao Baichao nodded like chicks pecking rice grains. They firmly memorized Yun Che's words and didn't dare to even miss a single word. Then, they immediately ordered people to prepare a room for Yun Che. As they walked into the medicinal pellet room, they discovered that Xiao Luocheng had indeed regained consciousness. Father. As he saw Xiao Tiannan walk in, Xiao Luocheng shifted his body and emitted an extremely rough voice. Xiao Tiannan hastily walked over and as he was just about to speak, he surprisingly discovered that the color on Xiao Luocheng's face was unexpectedly much better than before. At the very least, it wasn't a paper dot like ghastly white color, but had a little bit of a blood color. His entire left arm was completely wrapped up with a layer of very thick medicinal paste, and emitted an extremely pungent smell. Luo Cheng, how do you feel right now? Do you feel any better? Xiao Luo Cheng moved his lips, and the pain that came from this body caused the muscles on his face to slightly cramp. Left arm. Very painful. What? You said your left arm hurts. Your left arm really hurts. After hearing Xiao Cheng's words, Xiao Bai Chao lost his composure and shouted. Xian Tiannan was first dumbfounded for a moment, but was also able to immediately understand right after, Xiao Luoqing's left arm was broken into dozens of pieces, and the nerves and meridians were entirely broken along with it, so it was virtually impossible for him to feel pain anymore. Yet now, he actually had said that his left arm was hurting. Xiao Tiannan's facial expressions immediately became one of excitement and he quickly grabbed Xiao Luoqing's right wrist. After a few short breaths of time, he fiercely stood up, and was unexpectedly feverish to the point of not knowing what to do with his hands and feet. This. 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 The meridians of Luocheng's left arms are actually unobstructed in a few places and all the broken bones are also connected together. The broken meridians of his upper body also feel to be faintly alive. How? How is this possible? Xiao Baichao was extremely shocked as he heard his words and also quickly pinched Xiao Luocheng's right wrist. After examining for some time, he yelled out loud. Genius doctor. No. A medical saint. As expected of a medical saint. In just a mere four hours, he was actually able to recover a grave injury that originally couldn't be healed, to such an extent. If I didn't see it with my own eyes, I absolutely wouldn't believe that this degree of divine dot like medical skill existed in this world. I had originally thought that my own medical skills are already considered brilliant. Seeing this eccentric god hands healing expertise with my own eyes, I finally understand that in these years, I was virtually looking at the sky while sitting in a well. Sect Master, like I've said before, not only would young Sect Master fully recover, but may even profit from this disaster. That's great, that's truly great. 
Xiao Tianan couldn't control the joyfulness on his face no matter how much he tried, and the last bit of suspicion in his heart about this eccentric god Han's identity also vanished without a trace. Suppressing his excitement, he said to Xiao Luocheng. Luocheng, be at ease, your injuries will definitely be healed. Xiao Luocheng's face was full of pain. After a long while, he finally squeezed out a few words with difficulty. If I don't get revenge. I vow that I'm not human anymore. He he, Xiao Tianan laughed with ease. That Yun Che is nothing but a lowlife, to kill him, is virtually no different from squashing an ant. I had at first, wanted to destroy him myself, but I've now changed my mind. This debt, Luo Cheng should personally repay it. Even though your meridians and profound veins are entirely shattered, you don't need to worry about anything anymore. Your father here has already found the most amazing genius doctor in this profound sky continent for you, under his hands, all of your injuries, even including your meridians and profound veins, can be fully recovered. Moreover, this genius doctor also knows the divine technique, the one finger profound opening. If you could get on his good side, he can easily make your aptitude better than before. Not long after, you'll be able to take revenge with your own hands. When you meet him, you must call respectfully call him Senior Huangfu. You must treat him with respect, with even more respect than if you are to meet the Grand Elder. If you truly can get on his good side, then this grave injury of yours is not a disaster, but a great fortune. A great fortune that's enough to let you excel in Shao Sect's main sect. When that time comes, perhaps you may even want to thank that Yun Che brat, L.C. Chapter 91 Good grandson, you truly are my good grandson you are listening at novel full.audio. After eating lunch, Yun Che fell into a comfortable sleep in the guest room arranged by the Shao sect. He had not gotten much rest after tossing and turning in bed the previous night, thus made this sleep particularly deep and allowed him to sleep until the sun had set. Since he had specifically instructed earlier that no one was to disturb him, no one had come in this period of rest. Where did you learn the art of healing and disguise? As soon as Yun Che had risen from his bed, Jasmine's voice came from his mind. Of course it was from my master. My previous master. Although many years had already passed since his master's demise, when he thought of his teacher, Yun Che was still unable to completely release his grief. The child wishes to be filial, yet his parent has passed away, he had always been subjected to this kind of feeling. This has also become Yun Che's greatest lifetime regret, as well as something that gnawed at his heart. Normally, the art of disguise uses air to transform, and can fool someone whose profound strength is lower than one's own, but someone whose profound strength that exceeds one's own will immediately see through it. Yet you, you are able to keep the entire Shao sect in the dark. Jasmine's voice was full of surprise and puzzlement. He he. My disguise technique doesn't even have the least bit of correlation with profound strength. Don't even mention Xiao Tian Nan who's in the earth profound realm, even sky and emperor profound practitioners would also never see through it. However, if I were to run into a fellow veteran, then the same cannot be said. Yun Che stepped down from the bed and stretched his body before the window. A wisp of an evil smirk slowly spread across the corners of his mouth. First, I'll let you guys rejoice for a few days. Then afterwards, you guys will naturally weep somberly under a sky of chaos and darkness. He 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 he. Even if you beat Xiao Tian Nan to death, there was no way that he would have anticipated that the Yun Che he had sworn to torture to death, would actually be inside his Xiao sect. And also be addressed as senior by him, and be waited upon in the same way he would treat his ancestor. Once Yun Che stepped out of the room, he immediately saw Xiao Tian Nan pacing back and forth nearby. When Xiao Tian Nan spotted him, his face immediately revealed a joyous expression. He quickly walked over to Yun Che and spoke with incomparable respect. Senior, did you had a good rest? If there's anything you need to say, please do not hesitate to say so. Dot Yun Che knew that after seeing Xiao Luoqing's condition, Xiao Tian Nan would definitely be more respectful than before. 
He chuckled and nodded his head whilst saying. I slept pretty well. I have not been up a mountain for quite some time now, so the mountain air is refreshing. Let's go and see how the little fella's doing. As though he had heard the sounds of heaven, Xiao Tiannan promptly responded and quickly led the way, making a beeline towards the medicinal hall. While on the way to the medicinal hall, they encountered the Xiao sect's disciples, who immediately greeted Yun Che with respect. It was evident that Xiao Tiannan had already explained that this was an extremely prestigious guest who must be received with the greatest of courtesy. Of course, the identity of this genius doctor was something he would never let the disciples know. The fewer who knew, the better. After reaching the medicinal hall, a clear dot headed Xiao Luocheng revealed a grateful expression upon seeing Yun Che and started struggling to rise to his feet. He attempted to bow to him as a weak and sincere voice escaped from his mouth. Junior Xiao Luocheng. Thanks, senior genius doctor, for saving my life and gracing me with the chance of rebirth. Huh, it's the thought that counts. With your body like this, don't move about too much. Yun Che laughed benevolently, as he stood by the bedside. Come, let me take a look at your veins. After which, he reached out his hand and pinched Xiao Luocheng's right wrist. Immediately after, his face lost all semblance of a smile as his expression became darker. And darker. This drastic change in his expression immediately caused Xiao Tiannan and Xiao Baichao to grow extremely nervous. Just as he was unable to resist the urge to ask, he saw Yun Che move his hand from Xiao Luoqing's wrist as he cursed in a fit of rage. Didn't Daddy here specifically warn you time and again that you absolutely must not feed him anything without my instructions? Did you think of Daddy's words as nothing more than just the wind passing through your ears? Xiao Tiannan and Xiao Baichao simultaneously exchanged looks. Xiao Tiannan took a small step forward and spoke while trembling in fear. Senior, this. This. Is this junior's wife's eagerness to dote on her child? She thought that such a heavy injury would be extremely taxing on one's body and should have a bit of nourishment. Added with Luoqing's complaints of hunger, it then caused my humble wife to simmer a bowl of chicken soup. Absolutely disgraceful. Yun Che suddenly exclaimed in a burst of anger as he swung his hands about. What eagerness to dote on your child. You people are trying to murder him. This daddy here wasted the entire morning brewing the medicine and any effect the medicine would have, had been F asterisk king taken away by this bowl of chicken soup. This also caused the utterly broken profound veins to swell up. With these two damages at such a degree, the treating this injury is practically ten times more troublesome than before. Simply absurd. Forget it, daddy here won't treat your son any longer, go find whomever you want to treat it. With every word that came out of Yu Che's mouth, Xiao Tiannan's face only became paler and paler. Immediately after Yu Che finished speaking, Xiao Tiannan's entire body began to tremble, he was so shaken by what Yun Che had said that he nearly kneeled down on the floor. Xiao Tiannan promptly stepped forward and pulled Yun Che, his panicked voice immediately pleaded, Senior. Senior please calm down. It was this junior's ignorance. I was unable to properly instruct my wife. This was entirely my fault. As long as senior calms down, this junior is willing to accept any punishment. I will guarantee that such a thing will never happen again. Senior, it was all this junior's ignorance. But my son has done nothing wrong and at present, his injuries are extremely severe. If senior does not help him, then he will certainly be crippled for life. I beg senior to be merciful, save my son. Humph. Ignorance. How can you possibly call this ignorance? This is obviously stupidity. And you dare say that your son has done nothing wrong. I'm saving him, yet the one harming him is you. Good thing I found out early, if I had heedlessly slept for a few more hours, this son of yours would be completely finished right here. If your son had died then, you would have been no better than an animal. Since my words have been taken for granted, why bother asking me to treat him? Why don't you go save him yourself? 
Yun Che's face was flushed red with anger as he spat at Xiao Tiannan and berated the master of the magnificent Xiao sect branch sect with a stream of curses. Each subsequent sentence was harsher and vulgar than the one before, Yun Che was only a step away from cursing the eighteen generations of his ancestors. As New Moon City's most influential figure, Xiao Tiannan had never been scolded this badly before, yet at this moment he respectfully bowed his head like a grandson and did not retort with a single word. He was doubtful when Xiao Bai Chao said that this eccentric god hand had a short fuse, but any of that doubt had long since been blown away. Without a hint of the elegant demeanor of a genius doctor, the elegant and scholarly dot-like doctor from before was now practically like a shrew who cursed on the streets. This scolding from Yun Che was like eating a good meal, it invigorated his entire body. He had gotten to hurl all sorts of abuse at the leader of a big sect without restraint while only being at the first level of the nascent profound realm, and Xiao Tian Nan had not dared to even retort at all. Only those who have experienced this kind of pleasure would understand this kind of feeling. This genius doctor finally appeared to be worn out from scolding and finally rested his case. After staring at Xiao Luocheng for a moment, he suddenly sighed. Forget it, this kid and I can also be considered to be fated. Even though you and your group of fools have dropped this pile of shit on me, in most cases, I would usually just slip away and leave you to your troubles, but... Sigh. Yun Che silently stared at Xiao Luocheng with a somewhat baffled expression. His gaze held a hint of sadness and kind benevolence. This kid is really too similar if compared to my little grandson when he was young. Sigh, indeed too similar. Kid, your name is? Xiao Luocheng. Xiao Luocheng nodded and respectfully answered. Yes, this junior is named Xiao Luocheng. Back then, that little grandson of mine was also called Huang Fu Cheng. Both of you have Cheng in your names, this truly is coincidental. Truly is coincidental. But what a pity, even though I possess medical prowess than can pierce the heavens, I can't revive that grandson of mine. But now that I've met you, I can't help but think of that little grandson of mine, and my memories from back then. As Yun Che spoke, his voice also became softer and softer, as if he was caught up in old memories. His expression became more and more sullen as a thin layer of mist slowly formed over his eyes. Hearing Yun Che's promise to continue treating Xiao Luocheng, Xiao Tian Nan was overjoyed at this unexpected good news, at least he had not endured that beratement for nothing. Listening to his following words, his heart was suddenly moved, and he sighed out. Senior's little grandson. He was surely an exceptional genius without peer. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. The genius doctor seemed to be immersed in his memories like before. A cloudy look came over his eyes as he spoke with an emotional voice. But what a pity, heaven is jealous of the elite. At the age of 16, my little grandson had already come to a premature end. And it just happens that he was around this kid's age. It was because of my little grandson's passing that I painstakingly studied the art of healing, but sadly, time cannot flow backwards. Even if I improved my medical skills any further, it would still be impossible to save him. Xiao Tiannan's heart was abruptly stirred. He forcefully swallowed his saliva, and cautiously probed. My son Luo Cheng and your noble grandson are similar in appearances, their names are similar, and even their ages are similar to his back then. This is simply a fate destined by the heavens. Since Senior misses his grandson so much, and can't forget the grief from back then, why don't? Why don't you let Luo Cheng recognize you as his god-grandfather? On one hand, this may ease your longing for your grandson. On the other hand, Luo Cheng is also gravely injured at the moment. If Luo Cheng can make a full recovery, wouldn't this happen to settle your regret for not being able to treat your grandson back then? Lastly, Senior has graced Luo Cheng with the kindness of rebirth. Luo Cheng is a pure and good child he will definitely be as filial to you as he would treat his real grandfather. So, what does Senior think? Damn. This Xiao Tian Nan is seriously 2F asterisk king smart, all he needed was a little hint. 
Yun Che greatly praised in his mind. As he heard these words, the genius doctor's entire body shook, and his entire body started to gently tremble in excitement. Wah! What did you say? What you just said? Do you really mean it? There was nothing Xiao Tian Nan did not understand after seeing the genius doctor's reaction. A great happiness sprung forth in his heart, as he promptly exclaimed. Luo Cheng. Hurry up and greet Grandpa. Xiao Luo Cheng certainly knew what he had to do now. He laboriously lifted his upper body, looked at Yun Che, and enthusiastically yelled. Grandpa. Wa. What did you call me? The genius doctor's body shook once more as his lips also started to tremble. Grandpa. As long as Grandpa does not mind, from now on, I'll be your grandson. Xiao Luocheng shouted with complete sincerity. Good. Good. The genius doctor's entire body dramatically shook, as two uncontrollable teardrops dripped from his eyes. He reached out his trembling hands and rested them on Xiao Luocheng's shoulders as he excitedly replied. Good grandson. Good grandson. Rest assured, your illness, grandpa will definitely cure it for you. This will definitely not be like what had happened that year. Good grandson. My good grandson. The more the genius doctor spoke, the more excited he became. A distinct stream of tears suspended on his face. If this world had an Oscars award, to not award it to Yun Che would practically be going against God's wishes. To call your enemy grandson whilst the other party respectfully called you grandpa, what kind of feeling would this be? It was better to say that only those who have experienced this would understand it. At the same time, Xiao Tian Nan and Xiao Bai Chao were also that happy and gratified. Who would have thought that Xiao Luo Cheng would actually resemble this eccentric god Han's grandson and thereby succeeded in making him his god grandfather? This simply was an enormous amount of good luck. With this recognition as his grandfather, the wounds on his body were absolutely not even the slightest of problems anymore. After treating the wounds, it was only logical that he would help Xiao Luocheng open his profound entrances. Not only that, to be such a highly skilled doctor, his medicine refining skills were bound to be second to none in this world. Any medicine that came from him would undoubtedly be hard to find, and the efficacy would be against heaven's will. To have Xiao Luocheng be his grandson, how could he not go all out in his generosity? Xiao Tiannan's entire heart blossomed with happiness. He could almost already see Xiao Luocheng fully healed and proudly laughing in the main sect. He even saw himself following behind his meteoric success, even so much that this little branch sect would completely merged into the main sect. On the other hand, Xiao Baichao was also extremely excited, so much that he unceasingly said. Congratulations sect master, congratulations young master Xiao, congratulations senior Huangfu for getting such a good grandson. This is definitely a major occasion. Sect master, since this is such a joyous occasion, once young master Zhao's injuries are treated, we must definitely celebrate for a day. Ha 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 ha. How can one day be enough? We would need at least an entire three days. Ha 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 ha. Xiao Tiannan laughed heartily as he spoke. Grandpa, this grandson. We'll kowtow for you. Xiao Luocheng thoughtfully struggled to try and get up. Even though each movement caused unbearable pain, he struggled and resisted like before, and prostrated himself before Yun Che. Don't, don't, don't. Yun Che promptly supported him using his shoulder, and spoke with a face of self-reproach. Good grandson, the wounds on your body are not light, you absolutely must not move about too much. It's not too late to pay respects when you have fully recovered, all that matters is if you have the heart. It's. It's fine, no need for grandpa to worry. Even if I am injured, I can still count out for grandpa. Xiao Luocheng said as he gritted his teeth with a stubborn face. He <laughs> he. Senior Huang Fu, Luocheng's mind is obsessed with being filial, and even more so, has a heart full of gratitude. Just let him kowtow. 
Furthermore, he has already recognized you as grandfather, this kowtow is also necessary. When Xiao Tianan had just finished speaking, Xiao Luoqing already lowered his head. On the bed, he forcibly exerted himself and gave Yun Che a kowtow. When he raised his head, his complexion had already become deathly white from the pain. Io, Io. Good grandson, you truly are my good grandson, Yun Che said as he hurriedly helped Xiao Luoqing up with a face full of adoration. Chapter 92 The Sex Treasury You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 92 The Sex Treasury Once this grandpa. Grandson relation was recognized, the remaining affairs would be much more manageable. The genius doctor who originally wanted to pat his bottom and leave, once again took another serious look at the condition of Xiao Luoqing's profound veins, and said with a cautious look. After this turn of events, to fully recover now would certainly be a little more troublesome. Go and call for the servant who gathered the medicines previously, I need to refine the medicine again. This junior here is none other than the chief elder of the medicine hall. I am the most familiar and knowledgeable with every kind of medicinal ingredients in the sect. Senior can just go ahead and instruct me. Xiao Bai Chao bowed and said. His intent was very obvious. He thought that if he was a helper here, he may be able to see a bit of this genius doctor's medical expertise with his own eyes, and maybe even learn a thing or two while he was at it. Mn Yun Che nodded, then you better remember well. Two or three forty-year-old purple heart misty flower wood, a piece of bloody sunflower essence, a block of scarlet spirit jade that's at least nine out of ten in purity, two strains of the 180-year-old ice-cold snow ginseng three strains of twelve-year-old burning net orchid. In one breath, Yun Che consecutively named sixteen kinds of medicinal ingredients in succession, and named one of every kind. Xiao Bai Chao stared blankly for a while. When Yun Che finished speaking, he was already thoroughly stupefied in place. He didn't know whether to nod, or not to nod. Even though all these medicinal ingredients could be considered precious, the accumulation from his branch sex many years of saving could easily take them all out. But the problem was that these medicinal ingredients Yun Che wanted, were all prescribed down to a specific age. Seeing Xiao Bai Chao look stupefied while standing there, Yun Che's eyes slanted as he asked. What? These are all not any rare or strange things. To a sect that exceeded a thousand years, they ought to be easily obtained, we have them, of course we have them. Xiao Bai Chao promptly said. But, about their age. Oh. I nearly forgot to remind you about this. Yun Che's expression became solemn and said seriously. These medicinal herbs that I requested just a moment ago, there must not be any deviation in their age. Well, if they really cannot be found, deviating a year or two should also be barely acceptable. But the effects shall be many times weaker. A difference in the age of medicinal herbs might not seem like that much of a difference, but even if it's a disparity of a month, there will be a substantial difference in its accumulated essence of nature. High-quality refined medicine are extremely harsh on the age requirement of the medicinal ingredient. For those extremely hard to refine usual medicine, the age requirements of their medicinal ingredients are even stricter down to the month. So go quickly. Yun Che's invented crazy nonsense immediately scared Xiao Bai Chao into a blank stare. He secretly told himself that this eccentric god Han's thinking was just too different, his requirements toward medicine were actually so harsh that he himself was practically just a quack if they were to be compared. He humbly bowed with a face full of shame. Senior's instructions, this junior will bear that in mind. It's just that, it's just that even if this junior knows very little about the methods of gathering and refining medicine, and is so familiar with what I have heard about the medicinal herbs in the sect that I could repeat them in detail, this age requirement for the medicine. Not to mention him, even the Xiao Tian Nan beside him had been shocked into a daze. All the necessary medicinal herbs age had to be precise who the f asterisk ck could even discern that. A thousand years, hundred years, and a decade could still be considered discernible. But between a dozen years and a few decades, aren't they all the same? 
let alone talk about the precision to the year. Yun Che's eyes were wide open as he replied with knitted eyebrows. Didn't you claim to be the chief elder of the sex medicine hall? How could you possibly not know the most basic of medicinal knowledge? Xiao Bai Chao lowered his head and bitterly smiled. Senior, in this continent, your medical expertise is actually immense. This junior simply cannot compare with it. If there's a huge difference in maturity, this junior can barely distinguish them. But to be so precise to the very year, or even a few months, this junior is simply incapable of accomplishing this. Yun Che thought for a while and then stood up. Sigh, fine. I should just personally gather them. After speaking, he paused, and then waved his hands once again. Oh, forget about it. The place where a sect stores their medicinal ingredients will certainly be the sect's number one place of importance and it's possible that only a few of the sect's own members are qualified to enter, so it would be even more impossible for outsiders to enter. Even I understand this customary rule. Originally, Xiao Tian Nan was instinctively conflicted toward the genius doctor's proposition to personally visit the sex treasury. It was because the sex treasury was one of the biggest secretive areas of the sect, even inside the branch sect, there were only five who had the qualifications to enter. There were two keys to the treasury altogether, one was with Xiao Bai Chao, and the other, with Xiao Tian Nan. But listening to Yun Che speak in this way, his conflict instead, vanished without a trace. He thought in his heart that this person was the eccentric god hand. What kind of realm was he at? In his eyes, the treasures in his treasury would probably be no different from trash. Furthermore, his reason for going to the treasury was also to save Xiao Luocheng. Moreover, he was worthy to be called a master, to even be this respectful toward this little sect of his. As expected of a master's demeanor, it was truly admirable. Immediately afterwards, he hurriedly said. No, no. Senior is too serious. Although the sex treasury is an important place, it merely is protected against vile characters. Senior is a talented master, how could it be possible that you would covet things from our little branch sect? Moreover, my son Luoqing had just acknowledged Senior as his god-grandfather so now you are also my sex family. Since we're all family, and this is also for my son Luoqing, what harm is there in entering my treasury? Yes, yes. Xiao Bai Chao also spoke immediately afterwards. This junior is incompetent. If senior doesn't personally go, I reckon that these medicinal ingredients still won't be completely gathered by tomorrow. It would make senior wait in vain and worsen young sect master's injury. The treasury was an important place that only those with the rank of an elder may enter, and entering also required the consent of Xiao Tian Nan first. Xiao Bai Chao followed. Nevertheless, it was still the first time the two asked an outsider to enter the treasury, yet they did not feel the slightest bit uncomfortable or thought that it was inappropriate. After all, he was the eccentric god hand, to enter your treasury was even giving you face. Yun Che pretended to think for a while and then nodded. That's fine too. However, even though I am somewhat grateful of your trust in me, there is a saying that you must firmly remember. Always be on guard with others. I've only arrived at your sect for a single day, yet you are letting me enter your treasury alone. Even if it's for my grandson's injuries, it's still too hasty and reckless. How about this, Bai Chao, you follow me during the entire process of retrieving medicine. Also, even though I've lived for a few hundred years, I've never really cultivated my profound strength. Until now, I'm only at the nascent profound realm. Furthermore, I'm not carrying any spatial rings on my body either, Shao sect can find out by just by probing with profound energy. I'm saying this to let you rest assured, and give myself a peace of mind. Nascent profound realm, no spatial rings. Meant that it was impossible to take anything even if he wanted to steal from the treasury. Even if one took something, it would be impossible to not get noticed with such an insignificant profound strength, and it was more so impossible to escape. After these words were spoken, the insides of both Xiao Tian Nan and Xiao Baitzao's hearts were moved, 
and their admiration toward this genius doctor's uptight integrity rose to the extreme. While moved, Xiao Tianan said. Even though this is the first time we've met, this junior's admiration and gratefulness toward senior exceeds that of anyone I've ever met in my entire life. This junior would rather doubt myself, than to ever doubt senior. Say no more. Bai Chao, you must follow me the entire way and mustn't be more than three steps away from me. Although I was often erratic throughout my entire life, I am still a clean and honest person who does not allow a single spot of taint. My grandson's injury can't be delayed anymore, let us go right away. Yes yes. Xiao Bai Chao answered as he took Yun Che straight toward the branch sex treasury. After Xiao Bai Chao and the genius doctor left, Xiao Tianan sat on the edge of Xiao Luoqing's bed. Looking at Xiao Luoqing's miserable state right now, he unexpectedly didn't have the slightest hint of worry, but instead, had a face brimming with joy. Luoqing. This time, you'll have to greatly thank that Yun Che. Do you know what kind of person this genius doctor is? It's even enough to scare you if I say it out. He can be considered as the number one genius doctor of this profound sky continent. Even though he doesn't belong to any sects or clans, he had saved countless masters and experts, the people who wanted to get on his good side, altogether, isn't weaker than any sect in the Blue Wind Empire. He is now your god-grandfather, he'll naturally support you from now on. By that time, even if you are in the main sect, they too, will treat you like a treasure. If you can build a good relationship with this eccentric god hand, it would be like having one more. No. More than just one more life. Xiao Luocheng also had an expression full of excitement on his face, and even the pain on his body felt refreshing while hurting him. He clutched his right fist and spoke as he clenched his teeth. No need for father to worry, since I look like his grandson, I have ways to firmly grasp this Huang Fu He. As for that Yun Che. He. I indeed will thank him greatly. What father said was right, I should take revenge with my own hands. At that time, I'll cripple his hands and feet, and shatter all of his bones. I'll destroy all of his meridians and profound veins. I'll make his life more miserable than death. Xiao Luocheng grew up in the lavish admiration of others and never before, had he suffered this kind of humiliation and transgression. Although he brought his current condition onto himself, it wouldn't stop his hatred toward Yun Che from seeping deep down into his marrow. This was one of the reasons why Yun Che deliberately visited here to finish him off, after he had failed to kill him with the heavy blow from before. To let a snake live after beating it was sinful, and to release a tiger back to the mountain will bring misfortune onto one's own family. This was the creed he firmly engraved into his heart after experiencing countless situations of life and death. The branch sex treasury was located below the medicinal hall. Not only was it covert, it also had an entire seven lines of defense. The treasury's main gate was a stone gate of over three meters tall. Xiao Bai Chao pushed a oddly patterned round plate into a slot next to the stone gate and slowly turned it. Instantly, the stone door slowly started to rose upwards accompanied by a deafening rumble. This sound was enough to clearly transmit to the surface, which notified people nearby that someone had entered the treasury. There were three of these kinds of stone gates and each one of them were approximately a foot thick. The sound of each door opening was even more louder than the previous one. If someone uninvited came, just opening the gate would be enough to alarm almost half of the sect. With the three doors open, a wide tunnel appeared in front of them. Xiao Bai Chao said while bowing. Senior Huang Fu, please. Yun Che was also no longer modest and walked ahead with big strides. At the same time, he still didn't forget to remind him. You mustn't be three steps away from me. Humph, I wouldn't want anyone to chatter false rumors about me. Xiao Bai Chao agreed with his mouth but he made a wry smile in his heart. Think about it, who was this senior? Would he even bother stealing things from this little place? Even if he really wanted to, without profound strength and spatial rings, he fundamentally couldn't take away much anyway. 
As they walked into Xiao's sex treasury, rows and rows of shelves made of black wood appeared in their vision. Xiao Bai Chao went up and introduced. These black wood shelves are all used to store medicinal ingredients. The medicinal ingredients that senior needs can all be found here. Furthermore, the elixirs, rare treasures, profound cores, along with different kinds of purple crystals, uncommon metals, precious jade, weapons, armors, and even the sex arts that our sect had gathered through all these years. It can be said that our sect's thousand years of accumulation are all secretly stored away here. As he spoke, Xiao Baitzao's face gloated with a strong sense of pride. Yun Che stroked his beard and said indifferently. With the size of your sect, to have such a stockpile, it's quite good. Mmm, -mm, that's indeed quite good. This daddy here has the medicinal refining skills and treasure that's unrivaled between heaven and earth, yet was bothered by the matter of medicinal materials to the point of weeping without tears. Tsk Tsk, the stockpile of a thousand-year-old sect, I certainly didn't come here in vain. Chapter 93 Tiger Soul You Are Listening at Novel Full Audio. The treasury was very large and had at least a few thousand square meters of space. Yun Che walked straight toward the medicinal herb storage area, he stood right next to a huge row of black wood drawer shelves, with a sniff of his nose, he spoke right away. The fourth drawer from the top in front, positioned to the right of the drawer are two pieces of 36-year-old blood sunflower essence, take out one piece. Xiao Bai Chao became dumbstruck on the spot. The labels of these black wood drawers that stored medicinal materials were all hidden on the signboard that was positioned at the very top. If one didn't pull the signboard down with their hands, it was impossible to read what was written on there. There were over 1,000 different types of medicinal ingredients here, and even Xiao Bai Chao who most frequented here, only knew the approximate position of most medicinal ingredients. If he didn't pull the signboard down, it would be difficult for him to accurately locate them. Yet this genius doctor from at least two steps away, who faced the forest of tightly closed black wood drawers, was actually able to yell out the medicinal ingredients stored within. Xiao Bai Chao went forward and opened the drawer. Sure enough, the blood sunflower essence was in there. Even though he knew this, eccentric god hand's medical skills pierced the heavens, he was still severely shocked and was more so convinced to the extreme. He quietly exclaimed, that a genius doctor, truly was a genius doctor, and he'll never reach this realm in his entire life. Yun Che walked through almost half of the medicinal ingredient storage area, and collected around 70 or 80 percent of the required materials while not opening a single drawer during that process. Yet, the required medicinal materials position and age he spoke of were right on point, Xiao Baitzao's admiration and astonishment inside his heart grew deeper with every portion of medicinal ingredient he was told to fetch. He was the dignified head elder of New Moon City's largest sex medicinal hall, yet when scuttling behind Yun Che with his back hunched and carefully following his orders to fetch medicine, he himself didn't feel that it was inappropriate in the slightest, rather, he felt that it was a kind of honor. The medicinal materials are just about right, where are the spirit jade stored? Yun Che said after he finished selecting the medicinal materials. While carrying the black wood box that was filled with medicinal ingredients, Xiao Bai Chao walked in front of Yun Che and said respectfully. Spirit jades are usually stored together with precious artifacts, in the innermost area of the treasury. After he finished speaking, Xiao Bai Chao brought Yun Che to the deepest part of the treasury. The deeper they went, the thicker the spiritual aura's concentration. What stored the precious jades was no longer black wood, but was instead cold jade, which was more than several dozen times rarer and more valuable than black wood. At least 100 cold jade shelves were displayed in front of Yun Che, and just these 100 cold jade shelves were already invaluable. There's actually the smell of purple veined heaven crystal, and the purity is identical to the one in the hall earlier. I assume it to be the same piece. Yes, it is exactly the same piece. Our sect is only a small sect. To have a small piece of purple veined heaven crystal is already extremely difficult. Xiao Baichao nodded, and at the same time, 
the admiration inside his heart was even more so, incapable of increasing any further. Medicinal ingredients had smells that could be identified, but the spiritual aura of precious crystals and spirit jades were not concrete like the medicinal material's smell. With a sniff of his nose, not only was this genius doctor able to recognize the purple-veined heaven crystal, he also was able to even identify its purity. The longer Xiao Bai Chao was in contact with this genius doctor, the more inferior he felt. He deeply sensed that this genius doctor was simply a huge mountain whose summit was unforeseeable. In front of him, he couldn't even be considered a lump of mud. This piece of purple vein heaven crystal was originally meant to be used as offering to the main sect at the end of this year, but it had to be taken out for young sect master Zhao's incident. It's fortunate that Senior lent a hand, Senior not only saved our sect's young sect master, but also saved this kind of heavenly treasure. We really don't know how to repay the favor Senior granted us. Xiao Bai Chao spoke very emotionally. Oh. You have to offer such valuable treasures to the main sect every year. Yun Che asked. He knew that the branch sect had to contribute offerings to the main sect. However, this kind of heavenly treasure like the purple veined heaven crystal was extremely difficult to acquire, even for the four major sections. If they had to contribute things of this level every single year, it would be just too harsh. That's actually not the case. The main sect established that contributions of over 100,000 purple profound coins was enough. The main sect will grant us pellets of the best quality that were refined in the main sect every year. The more we contribute, the more the main sect would give back, sometimes, there were even high.grade profound skills and precious artifacts. One year. 100,000 purple profound coins. Yun Che slightly gasped in secret. This Xiao sect was virtually AF asterisk king blood sucking vampire. However, these branch sects must still obediently turn in contributions. Otherwise, without the main sect's pellets and return gifts, the sect will slowly deteriorate. If even the title, Xiao sect's branch sect, was removed, then these branch sect wouldn't even have anything to back them up anymore. When speaking of high dot grade precious artifacts, Xiao Bai Chao remembered something. He turned around and pointed toward a pale white long sword that was in the center of the weapon rack behind him, and said with a proud face. Senior please look, this sword's name is Tiger Soul, and is the number one valuable treasure that the main sect had granted us over these years. It also is the only earth profound artifact inside this new moon city, and was extremely rare even in the main sect. Rumor has it that it was personally smithied by the head elder of swordsmithing. The sword's body was infused with a earth profound white tiger profound core's power along with the not yet scattered soul, and can easily slice open protective profound artifacts below the earth profound realm. If brandished with profound energy, one can even faintly hear a tiger's roar. Sect Master has always considered this as one of the most precious treasures in these recent years, and was unwilling to even use it himself. He had only hoped to gift it to young Sect Master on his big wedding day, so young Sect Master would become a tiger that has grown wings. This, Tiger Soul, sword had a sword length of 3 feet and 3 inches, the entire sword's body was white, yet it was not a glimmering white like that of a piece of jade but was instead, a type of bizarre pale white. The sword's body was not regular and was slightly distorted. Under a closer look, it looked as if it was made by assembling tiger bones together piece by piece. Even though he was very far away, he could faintly feel that the sword's body was emitting a kind of hostile aura that made one extremely uncomfortable. BL.net and this was actually an earth profound sword. It indeed is quite a good sword. Yun Che stared at the tiger soul sword and slowly nodded. Since even Senior said that, young Sect Master would definitely like it a lot when the time comes. Replied Xiao Bai Chao. After he made Xiao Bai Chao fetch a piece of extremely pure scarlet spirit jade and a piece of water spirit jade, all of the required materials were gathered. Yun Che didn't display the slightest interest in this treasury, and cleanly walked toward the treasury's exit. During the entire process, both of his hands had always been behind his back. 
Everything was fetched by Xiao Bai Chao, he had never even touched the box. After exiting the treasury, Yun Che rushed straight toward the medicine hall to refine medicine. Xiao Bai Chao, who stood guard outside, recited everything that happened inside the treasury to Xiao Tiannan from beginning to end, and couldn't stop praising his god-like ability of identifying medicine through drawers along with his breathtaking integrity of not touching anything. Xiao Tiannan, however, calmly smiled and said. This is exactly the style of an expert. Moreover, with Huan Fuhi's level and experience, other than the purple-veined heaven crystal, there probably wasn't anything that he found to be worthy in the entire treasury. Sai, speaking of which, I had even doubted his identity as Huang Fu He. Right now, I absolutely wouldn't believe it even if you tell me that he wasn't Huang Fu He. Unwittingly, Yun Che had already stayed in Xiao Sect's branch sect for three days. In these three days, Xiao Tian Nan and Xiao Luo Cheng passed every single day in astonishment and joyful surprise. To completely repair entirely shattered meridians, it originally was simply impossible without relying on purple-veined heaven crystals. Even with purple-veined heaven crystals, it wouldn't be possible to do it so flawlessly, and would take at least a period of a few months. But, with just three days, and only three days, all of Xiao Luocheng's broken meridians were connected again, and became more and more vigorous. The extent of recovery was so great that it was almost impossible for them to believe, even when they saw it with their own eyes. Toward this genius doctor that descended from the heavens, they deified him even more. The grandpa that came out of Xiao Luoqing's mouth was even more so, smoother and affectionate. It was practically more intimate than him calling his biological grandfather. These past days, Yun Che would head to the treasury at least three times a day, and would call Xiao Bai Chao to follow him every single time. It was the same as usual, he absolutely refused to touch anything, and left right after gathering the materials. Senior, you see, the injuries of my son's meridians are becoming more stable. I believe that with Senior here, within one month, all of his broken meridians would be completely mended. But the injuries to the profound veins. May I ask what Senior has planned? For three consecutive days, all Yun Che healed were the injuries on Xiao Luoqing's arm and meridians, but never touched the shattered profound veins. If the profound veins couldn't be healed, then Xiao Luoqing would only be a cripple. And the longer it was delayed, the harder it was to repair. He didn't have the slightest doubt in this genius Dr. Huang Fu's art of healing at this point, but seeing that he still hadn't touched the matter of the hand's profound veins, he couldn't help but to be perturbed inside his heart. After hearing Xiao Tiannan's words, Yun Che slightly pondered, and said, Sect Master Xiao, I had originally wanted to start healing the profound veins on his arms on the first day. However, that time Xiao Luocheng had accepted me as his grandfather, and became my grandson, as for the matter of profound veins, I'll have to consider some more. Consider some more. What does senior mean? The inside of Xiao Tiannan's heart moved about. Yun Che glanced sideways, stroked his beard, and said to Xiao Luoqing with a face full of gentleness. My grandson, do you wish to become an unparalleled master? As he said that, both Xiao Luoqing and Xiao Tiannan's heart fiercely jumped and they themselves, almost leaped up from the excitement. Xiao Luoqing panically nodded. I do. Of course I do. Grandson wants to even when dreaming. Yun Che slowly nodded, and said. Looking at your current profound veins, your previous level of profound strength ought to be at the tenth level of the nascent profound realm, no. With this kind of strength, you should be considered quite good in the same age group of this little city. However, you have over a world's difference from the level of unparalleled masters. I've seen countless strong youngsters in my life. With the same age as you, some had already even reached the spirit profound realm. And even the earth profound realm. These few sentences of Yun Che's bullshit made Xiao Luocheng and Xiao Tiannan vehemently gasp. Having reached the spirit profound realm and earth profound realm with the age of 16 or 17. Does someone like this really exist? Can that even be considered human? 
that would be simply a monster. Restoring your profound veins can be considered a piece of cake for me. However, you'll then need to start cultivating from the elementary profound realm. But with your grandpa here, after your profound veins are restored, there's a way to let you directly step into the earth. Profound. Realm. The few sentences that Yun Che spoke after, were like landmines that exploded inside the ears of the father and son with the surname Xiao. It made them stare with their mouths agape. Sixteen years old. To the earth profound realm right away. If someone else had said this, the Xiao surnamed father and son would surely consider him a madman. However, who was this person? He was the eccentric god Han. The remarkable man that could be called the number one genius doctor of the profound sky continent. All of the abilities he had exhibited over these past days had made them stare with wide eyes. How could his words possibly be false? Xiao Luocheng felt so blessed that he was on the verge of fainting. He asked with his trembling lips. Grandpa, th. There is really such a way. He <laughs> he. Does your grandpa here seem to be someone who makes empty promises? Yun Che, kindly, smiled. Under the heavens, only I am able to accomplish this method. And to do so, two prerequisites are needed, the first, are shattered profound veins, as for the second. W.H. What is it? Xiao Tianan took a step forward and impatiently asked. To reach earth profound realm at the age of sixteen, it was never seen or even heard before in this blue wind empire. If it really was achieved, then his son Xiao Luocheng would definitely become the number one of blue wind empire's younger generation. Moreover, it would be unprecedented and there wouldn't be anyone that could accomplish this after. Just by thinking about it, he was already feverish to the point of trembling, from top of bottom. A. Dragon Core. Yun Che slowly replied. Chapter 94 Extortion You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio Dragon Core Xiao Tianan was taken aback, and then ventured further. It can't be. A dragon's profound core. That's right. Yun Che nodded and made a seemingly profound gesture as he slowly spoke. Profound veins are one of heaven's greatest gift to mankind. It has allowed man to possess strength far greater than what they are capable of themselves. But because of the existence of these profound veins, it is necessary for the heavens to impose a set of rules and natural law. Be it a genius or one of mediocre talent, it is necessary for his growth and strength to increase progressively, to go against this would be to rebel against the heavens. However, if your profound veins have been damaged, then they are no longer whole, and it can be said that. They no longer have to follow the rules that profound veins must. Currently, my grandson Luocheng has had his profound veins broken, and is almost crippled. In order to break this condition, as long as we can obtain a dragon's profound core, then I can find a way to draw out the core's energy and infuse it into his damaged profound veins. I can then repair them once more and let Luocheng start from the beginning with profound veins that are above average. Among the profound beasts, the dragon's profound core energy is the most similar to humans. Therefore, only the dragon profound core will work and the higher the grade, the better. Of course, Yun Che's words were pure nonsense, but Xiao Tianan and Xiao Luocheng took it all in as if it was heaven's verdict. But was no wonder that they did, after all, these words came out from the eccentric god Han's own mouth and the fact that they simply had no idea what they meant, was only natural. They only felt that his words were mysteriously profound and incomparably awesome. Yet at the same time, Xiao Tiannan's face fell. In this world, for such wonderful secret techniques to exist. But, Sai, dragons are revered as one of the most respected and powerful creatures, and even the lowest sort of mature dragons are of the sky profound level. Sky profound cores are so priceless that even if it's the main sect, there are only a few, let alone dragon cores. For Luocheng to be able to meet senior, is already a miracle bestowed by the heavens. However, this dragon core that you ask for, it is simply impossible to be found, ha ha ha. 
Yun Che laughed blandly. Impossible to find. No, in front of your eyes, there is already a place where you can seek it out. Not only that, it is even an Emperor Profound Dragon Core. W.H. What? Emperor Profound Dragon Core. Xiao Tiannan involuntarily shouted in shock. What sort of thing was an Emperor Profound Core? It was something that not even the main sect would dare to covet. To such a minuscule branch sect like theirs, it was even more so a godly item from the legends. As for an Emperor Profound Dragon Core, it could even be said to be the legendary, Divine Emperor Core, that may even allow a practitioner at the pinnacle of the Sky Profound Realm to easily break past the bottleneck and step foot into the Emperor Profound Realm. Where can I possibly find it? If I can buy it from there, I will definitely get it, even if it means spending the entire sex fortune. Xiao Tiannan spoke agitatedly. Even though this information came personally from the eccentric god hand, Xiao Tiannan didn't dare to believe it. How would it be possible for an object miraculous enough to shake the entire Blue Wind Empire, to appear in this little New Moon City? Even if it was true, by now, New Moon City should have already been crowded by travelers from all over the land. For days ago, when I was passing by the New Moon City branch's Black Moon Merchant Guild, I just happened to catch a whiff of a dragon core, and it was also one of Emperor Profound Grade. In my entire life, if the number of high-level Profound Cores I've worked with does not number a hundred thousand, it would still be around eighty thousand, it was certainly an Emperor Profound Dragon Core. At that time, I too, did not dare to believe it at first, and even stood at the door for a while more to verify it. Yun Che took a look at Xiao Tiannan's shocked expression and said. For an Emperor Profound Dragon Core to emerge from such a tiny new moon city, it is indeed strange, but seeing that it's from the Black Moon Merchant Guild, it would also be understandable. This Emperor Profound Dragon Core must have been from the main branch, but as to where it was meant to be sent, that would be a mystery. Xiao Tiannan listened while in a daze and his heart incessantly surged. Xiao Luocheng's eyes were already the size of saucers as he shouted. Father, Grandpa is the number one genius doctor in the country, he definitely did not make a mistake. You must find a way to help me obtain that Emperor Profound Dragon Core. My entire life, and the future of our branch sect completely rests on Grandpa and this Emperor Profound Dragon Core. The news of Black Moon Merchant Guild actually having an Emperor Profound Dragon Core also had shocked Xiao Tiannan immensely, but he unquestioningly trusted Yun Che's words. The corner of his mouth twitched as he bitterly muttered. Since it is senior's knowledge, then it must not be wrong. But our little new moon city is simply not worthy of possessing an object as godly as the Emperor Profound Dragon Core. Perhaps New Moon Merchant Guild's main branch had prepared to sell it to some great being, and is only leaving it at New Moon City temporarily. I am no more than the sect master of a little branch sect that belongs to Shao sect, even if I know that the Emperor Profound Dragon Core is currently in the possession of the Black Moon Merchant Guild, it is also absolutely impossible that they are willing to sell it to me. Even if they're willing to reach a compromise and sell it. It is fundamentally impossible for us to purchase an Emperor Profound Dragon Core. I've already thought of this aspect. Yun Che began to fumble his pockets. After rummaging for a long time, he finally procured a shiny purple profound currency card, the exact one the clerk had given him the first time he had visited the Black Moon Merchant Guild. After placing it onto Xiao Tiannan's palm, he indifferently spoke. Around 30 years ago, Black Moon Merchant Guild's current owner had been ambushed by enemies and sustained heavy injuries after a bitter fight. After narrowly escaping with his life, I nursed him back to health. He had handed me this profound currency card, and claimed that with this profound currency card, I could buy anything I wanted at the lowest price from any Black Moon Merchant Guild in this continent. For 30 years, I have never used this profound currency card, but have always brought it with me, in case of emergencies. Since it has been gifted by the owner, it should be of use. From Xiao Tiannan's original examination, it was only a very ordinary purple dot gold card. But upon hearing F how it had come about, his two hands trembled so agitatedly that he almost dropped the purple gold card. 
Black Moon Merchant Guild's owner, he was in fact the number one overlord in the entire of Profound Sky Continent. He was an imposing figure whose wealth and influence pierced the heavens. For him to have personally given this purple dot gold card, in addition to the words he had said. This purple dot gold card's value, was definitely not lower than that of an emperor's profound dragon core. Senior, if this was given to you by the owner of the Black Moon Merchant Guild, then this purple dot gold card is simply too precious. The fact that Senior did not hesitate to take it out for Luachim's sake, this junior truly does not know how to repay this huge favor. Xiao Tianan emotionally said as he held the purple dot gold card in his hand. Yun Che gently chuckled, and his expression revealed traces of melancholy. Luo Cheng is my grandson. As his grandfather, is it not natural for me to do these? Sai, this could also be considered to be me using Luo Cheng to make amends for my regrets from that year. Luo Cheng, quickly thank your grandfather. Xiao Tianan said loudly. Xiao Luo Cheng immediately struggled to get up and bowed solemnly to Yun Che. He was so emotionally moved that he was practically to the point of tears. Luo Cheng will keep Grandpa's magnanimous favor in his heart forever. Luo Cheng will definitely be filial to Grandfather in the future. If not, I shall be struck by lightning, for even the heavens and earth will not tolerate that. The corner of Yun Che's mouth lifted, and he laughed with a thoroughly gratified expression. He patted Xiao Luoqing's shoulder and beamed as he answered. Good, good, you are truly my good grandson. Grandpa does not wish for anything else other than to hear you call me grandpa a few times every day. Just this would warm my heart. Xiao Sex Master, this matter should not be delayed. You must immediately take this purple currency card and personally make a trip to the Black Moon Merchants Guild. I am a hundred percent sure that there's an Emperor Profound Dragon Corps there. However, as to how you'll elicit this information from them, it'll be up to your skills. Also, it's best to bring Xiao Bai Chao along with you, he should be able to identify whether or not it is an Emperor Profound Dragon Corps. Yes, this junior will call for Elder Bai Chao to go with me to Black Moon Merchant Guild at once. Even without Yun Che's reminder, Xiao Tianan knew that this was a matter best handled personally, and the more quiet and secret of this trip was, the better. If the news of New Moon City possessing an Emperor Profound Dragon Corps were to spread, the repercussions would simply be unimaginable. Very quickly, Xiao Tianan called for Xiao Bai Chao. The two men were preparing to leave and Yin Che paused them in their tracks, and said. The distance from here to Black Moon Merchant Guild is quite far. Moreover, the matter of this Emperor Profound Corps is important, so even if you manage to purchase it in the end, it would require you to spend a large amount of time. Within this duration, I have dropped by your treasury sporadically based on Luoqing's condition. Therefore, you should leave the keys to the treasury to someone you can trust. This. After Xiao Tianan and Xiao Baichao looked at each other, Xiao Baichao agilely pulled out the keys to the treasury, and said. Senior, there are a total of two keys to the treasury, and they have always been with this junior and sect master. It has never been given to a third person, and we had never dared to do so in any way. When thinking about it, the only person we can currently pass the key on to would be you, Senior. If at any time, Senior needs to acquire herbs or any precious stones, you can enter with this key at any time. Yun Che glared, then fiercely swung his hand away, and said unhappily. What nonsense! The key to your treasury, how can it arbitrarily land in an outsider's hands? Both of you are already near a century old, how can you still do things so irresponsibly? Xiao Tianan laughed, this key to the treasury, must obviously not be simply given to anyone. However, even though I've only known senior for a couple of days, Bai Chao and I hold the highest respect for your medical skills and noble character, we cannot feel more at ease leaving it in your hands. Other than senior, we would definitely not dare to pass it to anyone else. Besides, for the duration we are gone, the condition of Luoqing's injury may change at any moment. If that were to happen, we'd have to bother senior to do more for us, 
but if there is a delay in treatment because you were unable to get anything from the treasury, that would be. So we must ask Senior to take this key. Yun Che still had a difficult expression on his face, but after deliberating for a while, he finally heaved a quiet sigh and received the key from Xiao Baitzao's hands. All right. You two should try to leave early and come back as fast as possible. For that Emperor Profound Dragon Core, you should bring as much money as possible with you, it wouldn't be too much to even to bring the entire sex fortune. Filled with gratitude, Xiao Tiannan and Xiao Bai Chao departed. After they had left for a quarter of an hour, Yun Che stepped into the medicine hall. Following the route he had already memorized earlier on, he walked straight toward the treasury with his head held high and chest lifted up. He walked past the guards without any obstruction, not only did the guard not block him, he even received respectful greetings from them as he walked past. Reaching the door of the treasury, he brought out the key and consecutively opened three stone doors to step into the treasury that brimmed with cold air. Seeing the dazzling assortment of medicine, jade, crystals and weapons fill his vision. The corners of Yun Che's mouth slowly lifted up bit by bit as he stood at the door of the treasury. After painstakingly acting for so many days, it was finally time to reap the rewards. A sex accumulations of a thousand years. How big this fortune must be, if it all vanished in a day, this entire sect branch would probably be halfway on the brink of collapse. Regrettably, that's what happens when you provoke an ominous star like me. If I didn't have a trump card to play, the one who would be ruined wouldn't be Xiao Luocheng, but me. Perhaps I would already be dead by now. Going back on your word and coming to New Moon Profound Palace to settle with me. Heh. Then let's properly settle it right now. What you've amassed for a thousand years, I'll just treat it as compensation for psychological distress. And accept it. Yun Che quickly walked to the rows and rows of black wooded medicine shelves, pressed his hand on them and exerted a little strength, and mountains of medicinal herbs, along with the shelves, were absorbed into the sky poison pearl. The absorption's effect and capacity of the sky poison pearl far exceeded, and was incomparable to that of ordinary spatial rings. Even if the shelves were extremely big, it wouldn't take him much effort. Within thirty minutes, more than a thousand groups of medicinal shelves had disappeared right there. Soon afterwards, groups of cold jade followed suit. This treasury was pretty large but with the sky poison pearl's limitless capacity, even if this treasury were a hundred times bigger, if Yun Che was given enough time, he would still be able to absorb it all into the sky poison pearl. Chapter 95 Poison Fire Rod You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 95 Poison Fire Rod In less than a quarter of an hour's time, all of the precious crystals and precious jade contained in the treasury, including the Shao Sect Branch Sect's most valuable treasure. The piece of purple veined heaven crystal, were all absorbed by Yun Che into the sky poison pearl. Immediately, Yun Che once again turned his attention to the 30-meter long weapon rack. Out of the weapons and armors that were qualified to be hung here, not a single one of them was commonplace, especially not the Tiger Soul Sword that hung in the middle. It exuded a proud and regal aura while being surrounded by several hundred weapons of the highest quality, which would make one unable to resist locking one's gaze on it at the very first sight. Sword, Dao, Dagger, Firearm, Spear, Halberd, Whip. Every kind of weapon that should be here was here and among these weapons, swords were in the majority. After all, Shao Sect and the Heavenly Sword Villa were the alike, they relied mainly on the sword as a weapon. Yun Che tossed all of these weapons into the Sky Poison Pearl and then opened a considerably small metal chest placed underneath the weapon rack. The smothering smell of gunpowder immediately assaulted his nostrils, yet it was the thing contained within that slightly startled him. This metal chest contained three extremely short and oddly shaped weapons and there were also nine fist-sized iron bead-shaped things that were placed separately. He picked up the weapon and sized it up with a puzzled face. Judging from his touch, this odd-shaped weapon should have been crafted from refined steel. 
the material couldn't be considered precious and could even be considered unpresentable amongst all the weapons in the treasury, yet it gave Yun Che an extremely dangerous kind of feeling. Assuming a bent shape, it was roughly the extent of a grown man's arm and felt heavy in his hands. Turning it over on the other side, Yun Che noticed a very small label. Poison Fire Rod. Rod. From what Yun Che knew, a rod should be referring to the eye of an axe's handle, but here, it had instead appeared on this oddly shaped weapon's name. It was Yun Che's first time seeing this kind of weapon, and also his first time hearing this name. Seeds of doubt sprouted in his mind. Don't tell me this isn't a weapon at all. But why would they place it below the weapon rack? If it was a weapon. It seemed like there isn't any attacking capability at all, but what's going on? What is this dangerous feeling I'm sensing? At the turning point of the poison fire rod, was a protruding piece of metal, and it seemed to even be able to move about. Yun Che probingly pressed down on it. Boom! A loud noise sounded, and a flicker of flames fiercely shot out from the fire poison rod's opening. The huge power of its rebound made Yun Che fall on his buttocks. The fire poison rod had been disposed of and was flung backwards to a considerable distance. The Yun Che who sat on the floor opened his eyes wide and stared at a fist dot sized hole that suddenly appeared on the wall in front of him. The black hole still discharged with smoke made him heavily choke down a mouthful of saliva. Th th this, could it be that it's some kind of hidden weapon? The power was actually this terrifying. And judging by the smell, what was shot out earlier clearly also had an extremely toxic venom that would kill the moment it touched blood. Yun Che walked over to pick the poison fire rod back up, and also picked up the metal balls inside the metal chest. They were extremely heavy in his hands, and three big words were shallowly etched onto the ball's surface. Sky Tremor Bomb Below the big words, there were also a line of small words. Use profound power to shatter the casing, then toss it out. The sense of danger emitted by this pitch black metal ball far surpassed the poison fire rod, one could imagine how terrifying of a power was hidden within. Yun Che didn't dare to test it. He returned it back into the chest and sighed in his heart. Something this terrifying ought to be created by the Shao Sex Artifact sect. If one wasn't familiar with the special properties of these two objects, and was suddenly caught off guard by an opponent using these, they would definitely die an extremely unjust death if they didn't have enough power. However, they have now entered Yun Che's Sky Poison Pearl, and became his valuable life. Saving weapons. Yun Che stayed in the treasury for an entire four hours. He swept everything inside the treasury into Sky Poison Pearl and didn't even leave a single strand of hair for Shao Sect. After he finished looting, Yun Che clapped in satisfaction and walked toward the exit. However, he suddenly stopped when he was only one step away from the exit, and quietly muttered to himself. To have hollowed out another's family property without even making a sound, it indeed feels kind of unacceptable. I should at least leave them with something. As he thought till here, Yun Che once again turned around. He randomly took out a weapon and carved an entire three lines of huge text. Only after examining his handiwork did he finally stride towards the three stone doors, closed them, and walked out of the treasury. Dot as he expected, when he returned to the medicine hall, Xiao Tianan and Xiao Bai Chao had not yet returned. Yun Che entered the pill refining room for a while and then came back carrying a bowl of medicinal soup. After waking up the slumbering Xiao Luocheng, he gently chuckled. Come and drink this medicinal soup. Due to his body's injuries and future prospects, Xiao Luocheng was 100% submissive to this grandpa. Not asking what sort of medicine it was, he immediately held it up and gulped it down. After he finished drinking, he impatiently asked. Grandpa, is my father still not back yet? Yun Che answered with a beaming smile. It is nearly time and they ought to return pretty soon. However, once they return, you ought to also have fallen asleep. After waking up tomorrow, your profound veins will also be completely crippled. Even if Tian Huangfu he's arrive, don't even bother to think about being saved. 
He 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 he. Yun Che's words caused Xiao Luocheng to become stupefied for a while. A sudden surge of unease spread in his heart as he forced a smile. Grandpa, what? What did you say? You're playing a joke on me right? Ah, uh, I've always been joking around, but it's only this time alone that I, your grandfather am not playing a joke on you. Yun Che started to laugh, and his laugh was awfully dangerous. He extended his hand and softly rubbed his face. A layer of extremely thin skin was easily unmasked as he revealed his original face. His voice also resumed his original tone. Good grandson, have a good look at who your grandpa is. To Xiao Luocheng, seeing a face suddenly transformed before his very eyes was like a having the misfortune of being struck by lightning. His pair of eyes exaggeratedly widened so fiercely that they almost bulged out. In that split second, he began to wonder if he was dreaming. But even if he was dreaming, it was fundamentally impossible for him to have such an absurdly bizarre dream. Yun. Yun Che. MN, Yun Che drew back the corners of his mouth to grin and then cynically smiled. Xiao Luocheng, my good grandson, how did you suddenly become so uncultured? to actually dare to directly call out I, your grandpa's great name. Impossible. Impossible. How could it be you? Impossible. Xiao Luoqing's body huddled backwards as the expression on his face contorted to the extreme. Terror, shock, shame, dismay, incredulity, a pair of eyeballs even more so, continued to maintain an outwardly bulged state, as if they witnessed the most terrifying scene in this world. After a long time, he finally snapped out of something, and started shouting panic-strickenly with a trembling and coarse voice. Somebody. Somebody quick. Somebody come. It's useless even if you yell your throat out. It's not like you don't know that in order to prevent my identity from leaking out, which would affect your injuries, your father had prevented anyone from coming near here. TSK TSK, how meticulous of him. Yun Che lifted his chin with his hand and smiled while looking at Xiao Luocheng, whose face was ghastly white with a completely frightened expression. But you don't need to be so scared, I won't actually kill you, after all, you've called me grandpa so affectionately for a few days already and even vowed to be filial to me for your entire life. He <laughs> he, even a cruel tiger wouldn't eat its offsprings, how could I, your grandpa, kill my good grandson? Grandpa will let you lay comfortably on your bed for your entire life, and let you reminisce your grandpa's kindness for a lifetime. The plot twist in front of his eyes, along with Yun Che's words, almost completely collapsed Xiao Luoqing's psychological defenses. Right now, his lips was pale to the point of not having the slightest hint of blood color. If he hadn't seen and heard it personally, even if one killed him, he would still have never thought that this unrivaled genius doctor would actually be Yun Che. They were two people of completely different realms, and shouldn't have the slightest thing in common. This kind of psychological impact almost collapsed his entire view of the world. During these days, everyone had treated him as a god and served him like the previous sect master, he had also kneeled and kowtowed to him, and even called him grandpa for a few days. This kind of humiliation was enough to leave a lifelong mark in his soul. Yun Che. We have no past resentments, no recent animosity. It was even you who seriously injured me first. What exactly do you still want to do? Xiao Luocheng asked in a heavily trembling and fearful tone of voice. He <laughs> he, Yun Che coldly smiled and answered as his complexion returned to indifference. When we had first met, we indeed had no past resentments and no recent animosity. However, even though we had no resentments, you unexpectedly wanted to ruin me. Ha, you don't need to quibble, the number of people who wanted to kill me, is even more than the number of people you've seen in your entire life. I clearly understood what you wanted to do to me at that time. As for your reason to ruin me, you yourself, understand that best. If it were anyone else, they ought to be ruined by you already. But it's quite a pity, that you met me. I, as a person do not have many great merits, 
other than being extraordinarily handsome in appearance and phenomenal in disposition, the only thing left is repaying kindness tenfold, and taking revenge hundredfold. If you wants to destroy me, then I'll destroy you first. Even though we had a pact earlier, your father still had personally come to New Moon Profound Palace to try to take my life. Because of that, I'll just make your entire sect suffer through pandemonium that not even chickens and dogs would be left undisturbed. Yun Che's narrowed his eyes, his entire face was brimmed with aloofness and a cold sneer. When you wake up tomorrow, tell your dad that it's only a meager lesson this time. I am a natural-born ominous star, if you continue to provoke me again, the next time won't be as gentle as this. Perhaps, this entire sect of yours, would forever vanish from this profound sky continent. You. Xiao Luocheng's eyes opened wide as he unwaveringly fixed his gaze onto Yun Che. Before his eyes, the current Yun Che had undoubtedly become his worst nightmare. He only had enough time to spit out a single word before his vision turned black as his body heavily fell down backwards. Yun Che coldly laughed and stood up. He ruefully muttered. In this situation, I could only use this sort of sneaky, underhanded, and shameless way. I don't know when I'll reach a state that would let me be completely unrestrained and brazenly crush clans whenever I want. It was only due to the other party's heartless cruelty that he crippled him, and then secretly stole the entire sex thousand years worth of accumulation. It was indeed a bit excessive and cruel. However, Yun Che wanted his strength to advance in the quickest speed possible, which meant that there was an urgent need for a great amount of high-level medicinal ingredients. And this Xiao sect branch sect just happened to throw themselves onto the tip of his spear. That being the case, they had the complete and unfortunate luck of bringing trouble to themselves. Yun Che rubbed his face, gently patted it, and then once again resumed his appearance to that of Huang Fu He. He didn't immediately pat his bottom to leave because this Xiao sect was too large, and was also on top of a mountain. If alone, he was bound to lose his way. Xiao Tianan and Xiao Baichao had finally rushed back after another hour passed. Both of their faces were flushed red with excitement, clearly, they had already acquired that Emperor Profound Dragon Core. Chapter 96 Escape, 1 you are listening at NovelFull.audio. You've returned. And judging from your expressions, it seems as if you've already gotten a hold of the Dragon Core. Yun Che said as he stood in front of them with a serene look on his face. But Xiao Tianan and Xiao Baichao couldn't remain calm no matter what. Xiao Tianan said ardently. What Senior had felt earlier was as expected not mistaken in the slightest. The Black Moon Merchant Guild really did possess a dragon core, and its quality had even reached that of the Emperor Profound. When I told them I wanted to buy a dragon core, they had entirely denied the dragon core's existence. But when I took out the purple dot gold card, their attitude completely changed, not only did they take out the dragon core themselves, they even gave us an extremely low price. However, we were required to not reveal the slightest bit of information about this dragon core. Right now, Xiao Tianan and Xiao Baitzao's admiration toward this eccentric god hand was like a surging river, the two of them had never even dreamed that they would be able to see an emperor profound core with their own eyes during their entire life, and even more so, to possess one. On the trip back, the two excitedly and carefully, rushed back in the fastest speed possible. They, who were able to cover the sky with one hand in New Moon City, even actually had a feeling of breathless anxiety. How much money did they receive? Asked Yun Che. 600,000 purple profound coins. Xiao Tianan hurriedly replied. He clearly understood in his heart that if he didn't have that purple dot gold card, within the Blue Wind Empire, let alone 600,000 purple profound coins, he wouldn't be able to buy it anywhere even if he had 6 million purple profound coins. Even though this almost thoroughly emptied all the available funds that the branch sect had, he still felt that it was a tremendous bargain. Yun Che's brows uncontrollably trembled twice. This Black Moon Merchant Guild is so f asterisk king wicked. After buying it for 50,000 from my hands, they then actually resold it for 600,000. 
and looking at these two's manner, this price was so cheap that it was virtually free. Give me the dragon core so I can take a look at it. After he finished speaking, Yun Che received the profound core that Xiao Tian Nan handed to him, pretended to examine it for a while, and spoke while nodding. It certainly is a emperor dragon profound core, and also a dragon core of an adult flame dragon that was acquired within two months at that. Very good, with this emperor dragon profound core here, to let Xiao Luoqing's profound strength directly reach earth profound realm after the recovery of his profound veins would be a breeze. Xiao Tian Nan was overjoyed. To create a 16-year-old genius of the earth profound realm with only 600,000 purple profound coins, that had never existed in history. In this world, there simply wasn't any cheaper bargain than this. Yun Che returned this dragon core to Xiao Tian Nan, and prodded. Keep it in careful custody, don't let anyone know of its existence. Otherwise, a man without sin, become sinful holding treasures, all the sex of this blue wind empire with some capability would possibly come. Your main sect, would even more so, come to take it at the first notice. Yes. We will definitely not leak this out to anyone. Xiao Tian Nan naturally knew how difficult it would be if that were to happen. After considering it for a while, he probed. But, this Emperor Profound Dragon Corps aura is too extraordinary. If an expert were to come across it, it would be hard to escape notice even from far away. An undue delay may bring trouble, so I wonder if it's possible for Senior to start. For Luoqing. Air. Yun Che heavily stared and then nodded after a while. An undue delay may bring trouble. You're right. Very well, then the matter of restoring the profound veins shall be carried on ahead of schedule and begin tomorrow. But a mere Emperor Profound Dragon Core is still insufficient when wanting to immediately make a breakthrough. This also requires a few other special materials, and these special materials are not found in your sex treasury. However, the Black Moon Merchant Guild ought to have some in stock. How about this? Xiao Sect Master, dispatch a person to bring me to the Black Moon Merchant Guild. This kind of method that could oppose the heavens is extremely strict in the types of materials it requires, so I must personally make the trip myself. Xiao Tian Nan heart stirred with excitement as he promptly replied. All right, I will personally accompany Senior on this trip. With me here, there absolutely will not be anyone in New Moon City who would be capable of injuring a single hair on Senior's head. No, it is inappropriate for you to go. Yun Che shook his head and lightly said. As the master of your sect, if you personally bring me with you, then it is difficult to let others wonder about my identity. Before coming here, I traveled in all directions, so it didn't matter if others knew of my identity. However, if I wish to stay here to cure my grandson, Luoqing's injuries, I definitely must not let others know of me being here. Xiao Sec Master, appoint a trustworthy person who also would not raise any suspicions, to accompany me. It is still Senior who has thoroughly thought this through. Xiao Tian Nan believed that Yun Che's profound words were right. After thinking about it for a while, he continued. Then I will tell Zaiha to accompany Senior. Although Zaiha is at that age, he has already entered the spirit profound realm. Even if something unexpected were to happen, he definitely would be able to completely protect Senior. Soon enough, Xiao Zaiha was called over, and he took Yun Che down the mountain. New Moon Profound Palace Yun Che had already disappeared for three days. Although Yun Che had left behind a brief note upon his departure so Xia Yuanba didn't need to worry about him, how could Xia Yuanba possibly not worry? In these past three days, he looked everywhere within this new moon city, yet did not find even the slightest trace of his presence. There wasn't even a single person who had seen him either. In fact, Lan Shuerua's anxiousness was at the same level as Xia Yuanba's, she had searched high and low throughout the entire new moon city with him. Up until this day, she simply could not wait any longer. I must make a trip to Xiao sect. After asking around for so many days, not a single person in New Moon City has seen him, this is too strange. 
I suspect that he must have been quietly seized by Shao sect. This is basically the only possibly that could have happened. Lan Shuerua claimed as her face trembled. Qin Wuyo sighed. I, I also believe that this is the case. But, first of all, we have no proof. Second of all, it has already been three to four days, since he had crippled Xiao Luocheng, Xian Tiannan would hate him to the bone. If he had fell into his hands, at the moment, he ought to have already. Lan Zuoruo bit her lip and answered with a resolute determination. If dead, I must see the corpse. If alive, I must see the person. If he's still alive, I must think up of any way possible to bring him back. Qin Wuyo stared blankly for a while, and then asked. You Highness, why do you go so far as to care so much this Yun Che? Not to mention that you and him only had a day's worth of contact, even if his aptitude is above average, Blue Wind Profound Palaces Fen Juechen and his age are similar, yet he has surpassed him by almost two huge realms. Aside from Fen Juechen, ones who surpass Yun Che in Blue Wind Profound Palace are far too many to count. Why are you so attached to him? Lan Shuerua slightly closed her eyes and quietly answered. I originally did consider Fen Juechen, but... Although he had defected from Burning Heaven Clan, in the end, he is still a person born from the Burning Heaven Clan, and is even the Clan Master's biological son. Even if he becomes a member of my imperial household, he would still be criticized by others. Furthermore, even you, clearly understand his temperament, he is uncommunicative and emotionless, with a wolf's arrogance and conceit. It is because of that haughtiness, that caused him to defect from Burning Heaven Clan. How can he possibly, and willingly, vow his loyalty and devotion to the imperial family? In this world, there simply exists not a single person who can genuinely handle him. As for Yun Che, Palace Chief Qin, have you ever heard of someone who has crippled an opponent whose level is almost a great realm from theirs? I have cultivated my monarch heart secret arts since childhood and excel in seeing through the heart, even Fen Juechen could not escape my eye. Yet when facing Yun Che, I actually was incapable of seeing through him one bit. I believe that when Palace Chief Qin confronts him, you too, will certainly feel the same way. I rarely meet such a person throughout my entire life. The most frightening part about it, is that he is only 16 years of age. Qin Wuyo answered. What your highness has said is correct. His shrewdness is deep and unmeasurable, from his gaze, I can only see what he wishes for me to see. Whatever he doesn't want me to see, I could not see it one bit. It's just that. This kind of person is bound to be multiplicatively more difficult to manage than Fen Juechen. No, this is different. Lan Shuerua shook her head. What I need is not a manageable person, I simply wish that he would help me by representing the imperial family when the time comes, and nothing more. On that day of the banquet when Xia Yuanba had been wounded, the violent rage he expressed on that scene, and his heavy dot handedly injuring of the one who caused Xia Yuanba's injuries under the eyes of everyone present without hesitation, is proof of how important he regards friendship. As long as we are sincere towards him, he in turn, will also be sincere. Also, he currently is unattached like duckweed, and has nowhere to go. When he follows me to Blue Wind Profound Palace, everything will be right again. And right now, is the best opportunity. If he truly is in Shao Sek's hands, and still alive, rescuing him will ensure that he remember this favor in his heart. At that time, it's surely impossible that he would decline. Even though he had repeatedly heard Lan Shuerua's various justifications already, from beginning to the end, Qin Wuyo was completely incapable of understanding exactly where, the care and confidence she had towards Yun Che came from. After all, even though Yun Che's performance was extremely astonishing, his starting point was just too low. A 16-year-old at the first level of the nascent profound realm could be regarded as above average in New Moon City, but in that arena was simply not even worth mentioning. Furthermore, the distance from that time to now, was already extremely close. How could he possibly achieve the desired height within such a short amount of time? 
Perhaps, her monarch heart secret arts had sensed something. Since this is your highness' decision, I naturally would not oppose it. If your highness insists on doing this, then I too, will go with your highness to the branch sect. Qin Wuyo said somewhat grudgingly, because he knew that if Yun Che had fallen into Xiao sect's hands, everything would surely point towards disaster. No need. It's best if this matter does not involve New Moon Profound Palace in any way. It will be fine if I just go myself. When necessary, I will publicly reveal my identity. Qin Wuyo hesitated for a while, and then nodded his head. Yun Che and Xiao Zaiha had already walked for half an hour and it could be said that they had already left the sect. Xiao Tianan continuously clasped the sparkling red emperor profound dragon core in his hand and did not dare to release it for even a second. At this time, he suddenly thought of something and then slapped his forehead to say. Bai Kai, quickly go to the treasury and bring out that snowy mountain cold jade case that had just been completely here. Xiao Bai Kai complied and went. It wasn't until long that he ran back so frantically that he had almost stumbled. His complexion was panicky pale, as he had just seen the devil in broad daylight. All of a sudden, he fell down in front of Xiao Tian Nan and spoke in a trembling voice. S. Sect Master. Tray. Treasury. Empty. 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 What's empty? Xiao Tian Nan's heart thumped and he didn't fully react for a short period of time. Xiao Bai Chao fiercely choked down a mouthful of saliva as he answered with difficulty. Everything's gone. Inside the treasury. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Wa. What? Xiao Tianan turned pale in fright. He stupidly stared for a while, before wildly charging towards the direction of the treasury. Chapter 97 Escape, 2 you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The last door of the treasury opened in the midst of the rumbling sounds. Standing in front of the treasury's entrance, Xiao Tiannan's head went boom and almost exploded. What appeared before his eyes was a scene of emptiness. The treasury that was more than 10,000 square meters was so empty that every corner could be clearly seen. All of the herbs, precious artifacts, precious gems, precious jades, even the sect's profound arts and profound skills, their thousand years of accumulation, cleanly vanished without a trace. It was so clean as if a tornado had just cleanly swept through. Not even a strand of hair could be seen. Xiao Tiannan's body suddenly swayed violently. Thanks to the fact that he was the head of a sect, his heart was tougher than others, so he almost did not go crazy on the spot. What is this about? What is this about? What exactly has happened? What happened to the things here? Where did they go? Where did they go? Xiao Tiannan grabbed Xiao Bai Chao and wildly roared like a furious male lion. I, I don't know. I don't know. Xiao Bai Chao panically shook his head as his expression filled with extreme fear. When he came here just a moment ago, he had immediately fell on his bottom in shock the instant the treasuries had opened. Even until now, his body still violently twitched, his mind was even messed up from confusion within his shock. The items inside this treasury was the entire branch sex heritage, this entire sex lifeline. I, I just asked the guards, just today, only Huang Fu he had come by before, furthermore he stayed an entire four hours inside. Huang Fu. He. Xiao Tianan was suddenly stumped for words, then shook his head with a pale expression. Impossible. It should not be him. He is the eccentric god hand, how could it be him? These few days, Yun Che's eccentric god hands, great name and his preeminent medical expertise had sincerely convinced them, even almost to the extent of worshipping him as a god. His acting skills were simply too excellent, even when Xiao Tian Nan was faced with this kind of situation, subconsciously, he still did not suspect him. It was because, why would someone who's the world's number one genius doctor, think highly of the things in their small and little sect? He simply had no reason to do such a thing. Moreover, 
his profound strength was merely just on the nascent profound realm and he did not have any spatial rings. Even if it was the highest grade purple spatial ring, it would not be more than a few hundred square meters of space. How could he have moved away everything from the entire treasury? Sect master, there. There seems to be some written words. Xiao Baichao stared with his eyes wide open as he pointed at the wall in front of them. Xiao Tianan swept his gaze over, three lines of words appeared neatly before his eyes. Xiao Tianan you old geezer, I'll accept the presents you and my filial grandson Xiao Luoqing have given me. Since you have decided to provoke me, you eventually have to pay the price. However seeing how comfortable you had waited upon me these two days, I'll tell you two secrets, the first one. I'm afraid my poor grandson Xiao Luoqing really is going to be crippled this time, even if the real Huangfu he is to come, he can forget about saving him. As for the second one, that Emperor Profound Dragon Core is fake. Ha 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 ha. Signed below the three lines of words was a great big name. Your granddaddy Yun Che. That's right, Yun Che directly signed his own name. Actually, if he had not left this name, Xiao Tian Nan will never link it to him. However he left it there. This was a kind of arrogance, a kind of confidence and conceit, and even more, a kind of humiliation. I precisely want you guys to know who caused you this kind of suffering. So you guys shall know who you have offended. I'm not afraid of your revenge. Want to take revenge? Come as you please. Xiao Tiannan's body shook violently, and his facial color became incomparably pale. Under his extreme rage, a mouthful of blood came rushing upwards and wildly spurted from his mouth as his entire person collapsed backwards. A thousand years of the sex accumulation, gone in an instant. Who could have handled such a blow? Sect Master Xiao Baichao gave a cry of grief and hurriedly supported the collapsed Xiao Tiannan. Xiao Tiannan had not fainted on the spot, but his face was already drained of color. His eyes became unfocused as murmuring hoarsely from his mouth. Impossible. 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 He had never seen Yin Che's appearance before but he knew he was only a 16-year-old youngster. No matter what, he could not link a 16-year-old youngster with the genius doctor that had stayed in the sect for the past three to four days. That preeminent medical expertise and opinion, his sagely temperament, his gaze as if he had been disillusioned by the mundane world, how could it possibly belong to a 16-year-old? If it was a disguise, how could he, an earth-profound realm practitioner, not see through a nascent profound realm weakling's disguise? He was even more unable to understand what method he used to move everything away from this huge treasury. The six thousand year old heritage was instantly scooped empty, this kind of setback had completely smashed his psychological barrier, causing him to fall into a nightmare. Unable to believe that all of this was real, only three words continuously repeated in his mind. Impossible. 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 Yun Che. The one who injured young sect master. Xiao Baichao supported Xiao Tiannan's body up, gritted his teeth and said. Sect master, calm down. What we need to do now is to calm down. That Huang Fu he is most likely Yun Che in disguise, he had planned for so many days just to take revenge on us. However, he might not have gone far. At the moment, he should have just left the sect not too long ago, he would never have thought that we would go into the treasury so fast. Zaiha is still with him. Quickly, use the sound transmission talisman and inform Zaiha to immediately apprehend Yun Che. The items in the treasury can still be completely recovered. Xiao Baitsao's words caused Xiao Tiannan to wake up from his trance. He quickly took out a sound transmission talisman and locked onto Xiao Zaiha's sound transmission imprint. As Xiao Baichao had expected, Yun Che and Xiao Zaiha had indeed just left the sect and was not too far away. However, reaching there, Yun Che paused his footsteps and spoke to Xiao Zaiha with an indifferent expression. It's fine, there's no need to go with me anymore. It's fine if you just wait for me here. I will head off to Black Moon Merchant Guild myself. 
Xiao Zaiha was startled, and puzzledly asked. But there is still quite a distance to the Black Moon Merchant Guild. Sect Master had instructed me over and over again to protect senior safety. Humph, Yun Che coldly snorted with impatience. Before I go to Black Moon Merchant Guild, there is still some private matters I have to attend to, so I don't need to be followed. You can just wait here. Seeing that genius doctor reveal an unpleasant expression, Xiao Zaiha's heart fell and did not dare to persist in the matter as he promptly replied. Since it's senior's command, junior. Junior will just wait here. At this moment, he felt that an energy wave from his sound transmission stone. To achieve long-distance sound transmission, a sound transmission talisman is used up every time. Hidden in the sound transmission talisman was a small-scale sound transmission formation. Even if it was of the lowest grade, sound could be transmitted within 5 kilometers, and its price was extremely high as well. As for high-dot-grade sound transmission talismans that could reach over a thousand kilometers, their prices were even more astronomical. That was why one would normally not bear to use up a sound transmission talisman unless it was something of great importance. Xiao Zaiha hurriedly took out the sound transmission jade. Xiao Tiannan's thundering roar was immediately transmitted in his mind and it caused him to instantly turn pale with fright as he involuntarily let out an alarmed cry from his lips. What? Originally, this time's retaliation and plundering of Xiao Sect's branch sect was originally supposed to be as flawless and absolutely safe according to his plan. During the middle of its execution, it also progressed smoothly without a single hitch. According to his plan, it was supposed to end today. They were supposed to bring a person of no importance to send him out of the sect. After that, he would find an excuse to leave by himself, make his getaway so clean that Xiao Sect would not be able to find him anywhere. He planned to then spread news that Xiao Sect obtained an Emperor Profound Dragon Core out everywhere. If that happened, it would alert those countless amount of people who coveted this Emperor Profound Dragon Core, and they would all come knocking from thousands of miles away. When that time comes, the entire sect will land in an abyss of deep water and scorching fire. If they were never at peace for many days and nights, how would they even have any energy to spare to seek revenge against him? However, no matter how smart a person was, it would be impossible to predict what a person would do next. For instance, Yun Che also never thought that in such a short amount of time since he had left, Xiao Tian Nan would actually send Xiao Bai Chao to the treasury because of an insignificant matter that suddenly popped up in his mind. Right when Xiao Zaiha took out the sound transmission talisman, Yun Che furrowed his eyebrows and vaguely had sensed that something was wrong. When he saw Xiao Zaiha's expression changing, he knew that what he had done in the treasury was already been exposed faster than he anticipated. His eyebrows sunk, and he immediately cursed in his heart. F asterisk CK. This isn't logical. How can it happen so fast? In theory, I should have only been found out tomorrow. Ha. <sighs> Yun Che did not immediately break into a run. Instead, the expression on his face did not change as he steadily walked forward. He prayed that it was only him thinking too much about it, and that Xiao Zaiha's response was only due to some other issue. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. He suddenly felt a wave of bone-chilling murderous aura come from behind him. Yun Che. For it to actually be you, bastard. Hand over your life. Yun Che's footsteps paused momentarily. Then, without thinking twice, he rushed forward with his quickest speed. Even though Xiao Zaiha had already said it out loud, he still felt really perturbed in his heart, he simply couldn't connect the genius doctor in front of him with Yun Che. But with Yun Che bolting away, Xiao Zaiha instantly had no more doubts. Carrying an imposing killing intent similar to that of a storm, he started to chase. Jasmine, what level is this person's cultivation at? First level of spirit profound realm. Email protected, hashtag dollar percent. What do you think are my chances of escaping from him? You and him have the difference of two huge realms, if this princess does not give you a hand, the chances of you escaping is zero. If this princess gives you a hand, 
he will die, but if you use all the blood in your body, this princess also have 90% of dying. Jasmine replied in a low voice. Dot. Yun Che paid his respects to all 18 generations of Xiao Tiannan's ancestors in his heart. Why didn't you play around the Emperor Profound Dragon Core that you just bought with Xiao Bai Chao instead rushing to your mother of asterisk king treasury? Little bastard, let's see where you'll run to. Xiao Zaiha's malicious voice came from behind. With a spirit profound realm's cultivation, catching up with him, who was nascent profound realm, was so easy that it barely took any effort. In only a few breaths of time, he had already closed in more than half the distance between them, and another few breaths of time was enough to catch up. But at this moment, Yun Che had instead, completely calmed down. As his right hand stroked on his left hand, a heavy pitch black metal ball was grasped in his hands. He carefully shattered the outer casing using his profound energy, abruptly twisted his body, and tossed it behind him. Sky. Sky tremor bomb. A iron ball suddenly flew toward his face with a speed that wasn't considered too fast. If it were someone else, more than half would slap it away with disdain. However, Xiao Zaiha was different, he knew of the sky tremor bomb, and was someone that had personally witnessed its power. During the, the constriction of his pupils, he abruptly lowered his body, and dodged it with an extremely unsightly pose. He then covered his head with both his hands, and hastily threw himself onto the ground. Boom! The sky tremor bomb landed on the ground and exploded with a boom. A sandstorm that covered the sky was raised along with the sky tremoring boom and under the sandstorm, was a 13 to 16 meter gigantic hole that plumed with thick black smoke. Yun Che turned his head around and was so frightened by the astonishing power that he jumped a little before clenching the second sky tremor bomb in his hand without hesitation. Chapter 98 Escape, 3, you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. You little bastard. You actually dared to steal our sex treasures. Xiao Zaiha got to his feet rather haggardly, as he let out sounds of rage and fury. Again, he ran towards Yun Che and closed the distance between them in the blink of an eye. Yun Che turned his head and threw the second sky tremor bomb using a bit of force from his hands. But this time, rather than crashing into Xiao Zaiha's face again, it landed on the floor in front of him. Sure enough, upon seeing the sky tremor bomb that had landed in front of him, Xiao Zaiha blanched and immediately stopped where he was, falling backwards in one fell swoop. Boom! A plume of lava hot smoke struck out from behind, its impact caused Yun Che to stagger and almost fall. The distance between the two temporarily widened again, but this advantage he had gained was merely fleeting. After all, a single sky tremor bomb could only earn him so much time. The third sky tremor bomb was clutched in his hand. He needed to rush to the city center in the shortest time possible, his only possibility of escape lied in getting into the city. You bastard. There are only a total of six sky tremor bombs. Let's see whether you'll be able to escape the moment you finish using all those bombs. Xiao Zaiha was still hot on his heels, but had already been reduced to gnashing his teeth in hatred and frustration. These sky tremor bombs were a fire-type weapon created by the Xiao Sex main branch and was extremely powerful, even if it was a spirit profound realm user who was to face it head on, it would only mean certain death or serious injuries. Sky tremor bombs were a weapon for survival that the branch sex elder had devoted his entire life to. Yet they had landed in Yun Che's hands and he was recklessly using it for himself in this way. It was fortunate that the opponent's profound strength was low, the sky tremor bombs he had thrown out were all easily avoidable. Otherwise, he would have been finished here today. What Xiao Zaiha had just shouted precisely voiced Yun Che's fears. There were indeed only six sky tremor bombs, and altogether, these six spheres could give him no more than two minutes of time, it was hardly enough to allow him to rush into the city. He had to think of other solutions. As Yun Che held on to the sky tremor bomb, his heart palpitated and his brows furrowing closer with each passing second. Yun Che has already been chased far too many times, 
and even situations a hundred times more dangerous than this were too numerous to be counted, but amongst those situations, he had escaped mostly with the help of the Sky Poison Pearl's toxic energy. However, as of today, the Sky Poison Pearls had already lost its toxicity, he had also finished using his star concealing grass and forceful struggling was even more out of the question. Therefore, the only thing he could rely on was. Yun Che breathed in lightly, and began to quickly comb through the Shao sex treasury for medicinal herbs, searching for those that could be combined to instantaneously achieve an extremely toxic effect. At this moment, a girl's elegant silhouette entered his line of vision. The young lady's clothing was snow white, and even though it was from afar, it left a clear impression of approaching nobility and elegance. Although the distance between them was too far and Yun Che was unable to see her face, barely a beat passed before a name appeared in Yun Che's heart. Because in this new moon city, only one girl had given him this impression. It's Lan Shueruo. Why would she be here? This was obviously a place only those who were heading towards Shao sect would cross, unless. By then, Yun Che had no time to think any further. He quickly dropped the disguise and threw another sky tremor bomb behind him. With a loud boom, Xiao Zaiha avoided the aftermath of the explosion from several dozens of paces away just in time. Yun Che rushed forward to the young lady he was nearing and shouted. Senior Sister Shuero. The reason why Lan Shueroa was here was to check with the Xiao sect if Yun Che was there. A deafening explosion caused her to pause in her tracks and lift her head. A quick glance let her see a wildly running Yun Che bolt towards her. Yun Che. Lan Shueroa murmured as her eyes flashed with pleasant surprise. In any case, he was still alive, this had been the conclusion she'd been hoping to reach in her trip to Xiao Sect today. But immediately afterwards, she noticed Xiao Zaiha pursuing closely behind. Little bastard. Let's see where you can run. See if I won't break both your legs and cripple all your limbs. Even though Xiao Zaiha had not been harmed by the sky tremor bombs, having to dodge three of them consecutively had caused him to look worse for wear. Covered from head to toe in soot, even his roars carried hints of anger and thinly dot veiled embarrassment. In an instant, Lan Shueroa understood what had happened. Not having enough time to think any further, she furrowed her eyebrows and called out anxiously. Junior Brother Yun, come here quickly to where I am. While speaking, she stretched out her right hand. Suddenly, a snow-white imprint flashed above the back of her hand. Little snow, come out. In response to her soft cry, the imprint on the back of her hand burst out with light and was accompanied by a high-pitched squawk that seemed to come from the heavens. A giant snow eagle emerged from the white light in front of her. A contracted profound beast. When seeing the giant snow eagle that had suddenly appeared by Lan Shueroa's side, Yun Che's heart was thrown into a state of surprise. Concurrently, his heart also surged with pleasant surprise. His step somewhat quickened even more as he clenched his teeth and reached towards Lan Shueroa. Lan Shueroa jumped atop the giant snow eagle's back and her slender snowy hand took hold of Yun Che's outstretched palm to finally pull him onto the snow eagle's back. The giant snow eagle flapped both wings and took to the sky amidst a lengthy bird cry. It charged skywards like lightning, and then became no more than a speck in the sky within the blink of an eye. A crisis of life and death was unexpectedly, avoided. The flying speed of the snow eagle was extremely fast, the wind whistled past his ears and the cold air that poured into his chest prolonged his suffocation all the more. It was only when the snow eagle's flight had stabilized that he was able to adapt to the situation. After heaving a long sigh, he opened his eyes to then see Lan Shueroa, who sat in front of him, stare at him with a faint smile. It was only then that Yun Che remembered he was still wearing a very unflattering robe, yet his facial expression didn't change in the slightest. Instead, he happily laughed. Senior sister, did you suddenly discover that no matter how crude the clothes are, it would have a certain flair to it as long as I'm the one wearing it? Lan Shueroa was slightly startled, but laughed along in spite of herself. Her laughing expression was as radiant as a hundred blooming flowers. 
It is indeed junior brother Yun after all, to not forget how to praise himself even after almost losing his life, yes. I did almost lose my life just a moment ago. Yun Che rubbed his forehead, and felt some measure of lingering fear. If it hadn't been for Lan Shuerua's sudden appearance, his chances of escape were abysmally low. The area in front of Shao sect had been far too vast, and the sense of futility he felt during his escape had driven him close to tears. Speaking of which, senior sister, why have you come to this place? Do you have something to do in Shao sect? Yun Che asked. Emin, Lan Shueroa lightly nodded as her gem dot-like eyes roved over Yun Che several times. After ensuring that he wasn't hurt anywhere, her facial expression finally relaxed and her gaze became even more gentle. After you'd suddenly disappeared three days ago, you and Ba and I have been combing through the entire city to no avail. Then I thought that you may have been quietly kidnapped by Shao sect, which is why I came looking for you. Yun Che stiffened momentarily. His heart surged with an indescribable emotion as he was left lost for words. After quite a while, he spoke as quietly as possible. This division of Shao sect is the largest in New Moon City. For a girl like you to come alone, did you not consider how dangerous that would be? You've only known me for just a few days, why must you be so nice to me? Lan Shueroa smiled and softly replied. I've told you this before, it's because I'm your senior sister. Yun Che. Dot. Previously, Lan Shueroa had promised that her family member would safely send him into Blue Wind Imperial City within ten days to avoid the impending troubles Shao sect would undoubtedly bring upon him. Since then, he had always suspected. After having been through so much, he definitely would not believe that someone would be so nice to a person she was unfamiliar with, for no rhyme or reason. Even to the point where taking such a huge risk may place herself in great danger or even jeopardize her life. Now, Lan Shueroa had come to the Shao sect all alone to find him, and even extricated him from the immense danger he was in. This solidified the only possibility that Yun Che held in his heart. The senior sister Shueroa before his eyes must have fallen in love with him at first sight and was infatuated once again. Apart from this reason, he was completely unable of thinking up other reason as to why a girl would help a penniless, powerless, unskilled guy she had happened to meet with no family background to such a large extent. Junior Brother Yun, have you really been kidnapped by the Shao sect these past few days? How did you escape? After passing a glance at Yun Che's clothes, Lan Shueroa smiled with her beautiful eyes. It can't be that. You disguised as a servant and snuck out after deceiving them. This. Close enough. But I, for one, was not kidnapped by Shao sect. I came in of my own accord. Yun Che laughed smugly, but did not offer any further explanation. Instead, he turned the conversation around and asked. Senior, you actually have a contracted profound beast. And it even seemed to be one of an extremely high level. Seeing that Yun Che obviously did not want to mention what had happened during these past few days in Shao sect, Lan Shueroa dropped the matter and followed the flow of conversation. Its name is Little Snow, and it's a true profound giant snow eagle. My master and I nurtured it ourselves, and it became my contracted profound beast upon reaching maturity. Although Little Snow may appear to be very large and heavy, its aerial skills are quite formidable and it can fly extremely fast. Oh right, junior brother Yun, where are you heading to next? Yun Che fell silent, and then slowly answered. I've given Shao sect a huge present. At the moment, they must searching through the entire city to find me, so I definitely can't return to New Moon Profound Palace or any place within New Moon City. I am not sure where to go to next either. Aside from New Moon City, anywhere else is fine. Right at this moment, Yun Che suddenly felt an abnormality in the wind beside his ear. Due to his unusually keen intuition, he subconsciously turned around. With just one look, he saw a black speck rapidly close in on them from just a few kilometers away. What's that? 
Merely a few moments had passed between his realization and his outburst, but within the span of this short duration, the black speck in his line of vision had already become a vague black silhouette. It was clear just how frightening quick it was. Lan Shuerua immediately turned around. Her eyes locked on its target, and she subsequently let out a cry of alarm, it's the fierce storm hawk, the highest level profound beast that the Shao sect had raised. Hua Ti. Yun Che frowned immediately. Why are they mobilizing even their fierce storm hawk just to chase after you? And it's actually so fast. A look of panic marred Lan Shuerua's snowy complexion, because she was completely aware that the fierce storm hawk speed was not inferior in any way to that of her giant snow eagles, in fact, its stamina far surpassed that of her profound beasts. However, she would not have asked this if she had known what Yun Che had done in Shao sect. Faster, little snow. At her call, the giant snow eagle beneath her gave a mighty flap of its wings and suddenly accelerated as its long white profile swept towards the north. But the dark silhouette behind it showed no signs of slowing down as it chased closely behind. Chapter 99 A Game of Life and Death You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. A giant white eagle and a huge black hawk swept through the sky respectively as if streaks of white and black lightning, it caused countless pedestrians to stop and look one after another as they tried to guess what exactly those high-level profound beasts were. But right after, the hawk and eagle flew increasingly further and higher and very quickly, completely vanished above the clouds, little snow. A bit higher. The giant snow eagle's entire body was as white as snow, Lan Shuerua had hoped that after it flew above the clouds, they could hide their silhouettes with the clouds' help. But Yun Che understood very clearly, that this may have worked if it were some other type of flying profound beast that chased behind them, however, what was behind him just happened to be a hawk. Hawks were the true rulers of the sky, and there was nothing that could escape the eyes of a hawk. The giant snow eagle flew higher and higher, and had passed through countless layers of clouds. However, the fierce storm hawk still chased relentlessly. The giant snow eagle could fly very high, enough to reach an attitude of 5,000 meters, but in terms the altitude of flight, it was far from being able to be compared with the hawks. A ordinary adult hawk could already fly to the altitude of 10,000 meters, let alone a spirit profound ranked fierce storm hawk. Fortunately, in terms of the flight speed, the giant snow eagle wasn't inferior to the fierce storm hawk, even though it followed behind closely, the distance remained consistently the same. The giant snow eagle had no way of throwing the fierce storm hawk off its tail, but the fierce storm hawk couldn't catch up to the giant snow eagle anytime soon either. However, the giant snow eagle's rank, after all, was lower than that of the fierce storm hawk's, for the fierce storm hawk to catch up with the giant snow eagle, it was only a matter of time. According to what I know, this fierce storm hawk was captured alive by the Shao sect a few years ago. It doesn't seem to have been fully tamed yet, and is not some contracted profound beast either, and there are risks of it escaping if it were released. So unless it was some imperative matter, they simply would not release this fierce storm hawk. Junior Brother Yun, what exactly did you do to Shao sect? Lan Shuerua asked nervously as she tightly clutched the giant snow eagle's plume. The sound of the wind howled like the rumbling of thunder. Facing Lan Shuerua's question, Yun Che hesitated a little, and answered truthfully. It's okay if you choose to not believe what I'm about to say. I completely crippled Xiao Luocheng, and made them lose 600,000 purple profound coins for naught. Yun Che slightly paused, but nevertheless, chose a way of wording that was easier for others to swallow. I also thoroughly destroyed their sex treasury. Ah. Lan Shuerua's opened her beautiful eyes into a round shape, her lips were wide open as she looked at him dumbfounded, as if she was looking at a monstrosity. I swear by my appearance that these are all true. Yun Che helplessly said. Dot. Lan Shuerua was speechless for a long time. She didn't doubt Yun Che's words, she was certain that based on her view of Yun Che's nature, 
he fundamentally wouldn't use such ridiculous words to fool her in this kind of situation, yet, it was exactly because she didn't doubt Yun Che's words, that she was immensely shocked and frightened inside her heart. What shocked her was that Yun Che, who was a youth at the first level of the nascent profound realm, was actually able to bring such a disaster to New Moon City's largest sect all by himself, this was something utterly unimaginable. What frightened her? Was that crippling Xiao Luocheng and losing 600,000 purple profound coins could already amount to a deep hatred, but to destroy the sex treasury? It would be more than just deep hatred. This kind of hatred was enough to last through hundreds of generations and thousands of autumns. If Xiao Sex Branch Sect didn't want to chop Yun Che's corpse into tens of thousands of pieces at all cost, even she would think of that as odd. It was no wonder that in order to chase him down, Xiao Sect had even released the fierce storm hawk. Lan Xuerua was originally considering whether if she should stop this pointless escape and reveal her identity, which would absolutely be enough to assure Yun Che's safety. But after listening to Yun Che's words, she tossed this idea away altogether. Based on what Yun Che had done, if he was to fall into the Xiao Sect's hands, let alone herself, she wouldn't be able to save him even if she made use of her father. Looking at Lan Shuerua's reaction, Yun Che said somewhat guiltily. Senior Sister Shuerua, sorry, I've burdened you. Lan Shuerua lightly shook her head. This is my own choice, there isn't anything that could be considered a burden. She gently smiled and comforted him. Also, Senior Sister protecting a cute junior brother, is a matter of course without saying. It's too early to say you are burdening me, for it is still not certain that we can't escape. Perhaps they'll stop chasing us after a while. Or maybe. That fierce storm hawk would suddenly become disobedient and fly in a different direction elsewhere, that's all possible. Little snow, fly a little faster. When hearing Lan Shuerua's words, some complexity flashed though Yun Che's expression. As Lan Shuerua spoke these words, he didn't discover the slightest hint of regret, deceit, and impurity from the depths of her eyes. He didn't like to be in debt to other people but this time, he was doubtlessly indebted to her. He owed her his life, or perhaps, some sort of emotion. Speaking of which, junior brother Yun, how did you manage to infiltrate into the Xiao sect anyways? And how did you devastate them to this extent? Is it alright for you tell me? Naturally, the current state of Lan Shuerua's heart was terribly anxious. However, her eyes revealed an extremely pure curiosity as she spoke and made Yun Che, who had originally wanted to conceal everything, incapable of refusing. He thought for a bit, and narrated to her. Long long ago, I had a master. I learned some medical skills from master, and in them included the art of disguise. Xiao Luocheng was gravely injured by me, and the sect would surely search for doctors everywhere in the city. Therefore, I disguised as a middle-aged doctor. And infiltrated the Xiao sect. Yun Che was naturally very eloquent in his speech and vividly recited what had happened during these few days in Xiao sect to Lan Xueru. Of course, he didn't mention matters like the Emperor Profound Dragon Corps, that, he couldn't let others know. The entire descriptive process was undoubtedly fantastic, it caused Lan Xueruwa to, at times, open her pink lips wide, at times laugh as she covered her mouth, and at times have a face of shock. Especially when she heard that he was mistaken as an unrivaled doctor, as well as Xiao Luoqing kowtowing to him as his god-grandfather. She promptly laughed while holding her stomach to the point of tears squeezing out of the corner of her eyes. The entire time, it was as if she had forgotten that they were currently in a dangerous situation. Two hours passed, four hours passed. The sky had already darkened. As four hours and hundreds of kilometers were passed in the howling sound of the wind, Yun Che and Lan Shueruwa's ears were close to being deafened. They already did not know where they currently were located. Each time they turned their heads back for a countless number times, they still could clearly see the Black Hawk silhouette each and every time. This is bad. They've almost caught up. Little snow, fly a little faster. Little snow. 
Yun Che turned his head around and was shocked to find that the fierce storm hawk behind them had closed in from over a thousand meters to less than three hundred meters. Sitting on the giant snow eagle's back, Yun Che clearly felt its body cramping. To a true profound beast, flying on full throttle for four hours was already near miraculous. If it wasn't Lan Shueruo's contracted profound beast and possessed absolute loyalty to Lan Shueruo, persisting to this extent would simply be impossible. Yet the fierce storm hoss rank advantage was clearly displayed at this time. Its speed of flight barely had the slightest trace of declining. The occasional hawk's cries that came from it was full of energy, and resounded through heaven and earth. Senior sister, don't force it anymore. Its strength is already exhausted and if this keeps up, its lifespan will be directly damaged. As the giant snow eagle's master, Lan Shueroa understood its current condition better than Yin Che. She bit her lips and tightly gripped both of her fists. The giant snow eagle's body spasms became more and more severe, even its posture was no longer stable. It started to falter and sway, and the speed even more so became increasingly slower. The fierce storm hawk behind them progressively shortened the distance and at this time, a hideous voice came from behind them. Little bastard, to actually make this daddy here chase for so long. This time, let's see where else you can run. Yun Che turned around all of a sudden and only now discovered that the fierce storm eagle had already caught up to within hundred meters. The fierce storm hawk's entire appearance, as well as the silhouette that stood on its back was in clear view. It was undoubtedly Xiao Zaiha. Senior sister, let little snow fly downwards at once, we should prep a. As Yun Che spoke halfway, he suddenly stopped, because in that earlier instant, an extremely dangerous feeling came from behind him. He turned his head around almost as quick lightning, and with a single glance, saw the oddly shaped weapon held by the Xiao Zaiha who was standing atop the fierce storm hawk's back. That is. Poison Fire Rod Xiao Zaiha actually possessed a poison fire rod. Before he could even react, he already saw a flicker of fire suddenly burst out of the poison fire rod. Instantaneously, a line of lethally dangerous aura flew toward them with a speed faster than sound. It originally was supposed to fly toward Yun Che, but under the violent air current, it underwent a slight degree of offset, and flew straight toward Lan Shueruo's chest. Senior Sister Careful Lan Shueruo, who was still turning her head around, completely did not notice the fatal danger closing in. When she finally noticed it, she already couldn't react in time at all. In her enlarged pupils, a pitch-dot-black object increasingly became closer, and right after, it was solidly blocked by Yun Che's body that swooped in front of her. Poof! A huge hole opened on Yun Che's shoulder and blood splattered everywhere. Even though he avoided any vitals, he still underestimated the poison fire rod's power, the instant he was hit by the poison fire rod, he had almost heard the hideous cackle of the grim reaper. Duck, Junior. Junior brother Yun. Lan Shueroa's body froze in place. Only when she saw Yun Che's shoulder that had been instantly dyed red by blood, did she finally let out a terrified cry and panically supported his body that was slowly toppling over. Senior Sister He could bear the severe pain from the wound but under the heavy shot his mind scattered, and made him feel as if he was incapable of supporting himself. With a ghastly face, he said with difficulty while biting the tips of his tongue. That is. The poison fire rod, it has an acute poison. If hit. Inevitable death. Hold me. And jump down. Jumping down. We may die. But if we don't jump. We'll definitely die. Acute poison. Looking at Yun Che's bloody and mutilated shoulder made the inside of Lan Shueruo's heart violently tremble. She nodded with misty eyes and tightly hugged Yun Che's body. Very well. Let us jump. At this moment, in the face of the Yun Che who blocked for her with his life, she still chose to follow blindly even when faced against the high altitude of a few thousand meters. She hugged Yun Che and stood up on the giant snow eagle's back. Looking at the vast land underneath, 
she softly whispered. Little Snow, you've worked hard. Come back and rest well. As her voice faded, the mark on her hand flashed. With a long cry, the giant snow eagle's gigantic body disappeared within the white light. Yun Che and Lan Shuerua's bodies also fell straight down as they plummeted toward the vast unknown below them.